is the chat up there? <laughs> All right. Oh, well, we're good. We're mostly good. Is what's what's important. Everything. Off the furniture chat. Is normal. <laughs> Get down from there. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do that. It's my favorite noise ever. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Of course, now the cat starts getting the zoomies. Incredible timing. Thanks, Nice. Zig. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Tiles of the Town Fight. Stop pooping. I detest it. And it works. Is it okay? It is. Is it okay? Don't need to go hospital in the... Chat has indeed gotten off the furniture. Okay, that's good. That's good. I threw in another poop chest, just in case. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, look, it's no joke. If you got anything sus with your poop, go go ask a doctor, you know? Just, just, just check, you never know. Um, anyway... <laughs> Welcome back to Tales of the Tarn Vale. We hope oh you all God. had a good week. What? We got a big old thing. Hold on. I gotta I have to go to a separate page to check that. It doesn't show, show up on my normal pages. Jonesh. What did we get? We got a thing. We got a thing. New Jonesh. What button is it? <laughs> v! Oh. V gave us $100, y'all. Just straight up. $100 straight up. Hey! <laughs> Thank oh you, V. Thank you. Oh, dang. Thank you, V. Shoot. Thank wait. you so much. Thanks, V. Why? No, turn me <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's how excited I am. I get, I get a tip. I turn southern. What do you want me to do? JC turns southern. <laughs> Rubes has a full on existential crisis. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, thank you so much, and thank you all for being here. We're only just getting started, but that always sounds like we're ending, but we're not! We're friggin' here to do some D&D, and we hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. Um, this... you okay? What's this is some day day Hope you have a wonderful day today. <laughs> See, this is why your, your southern is spreading to key. <laughs> now, I haven't watched too much Ted Lasso. It's nah. either full on Cockney, Cockney London or it's uh, <laughs> there's no in between. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> but, as usual. <laughs> We, fuck it, we have our incredible array of yeah, characters do. and cast uh, Speak, with us today. <laughs> with us today, of course, except for Danny the Dapper Dwarf, right? he is always here, he was always here, and he is always with us in spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> you know what? We're already here, so to kick things off, let's say hi. Howdy ho, this is JC, aka Ludo Bion. Well, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Thanks for coming back to my channel. I know you might have seen that my channel got banned, and my agreement with Twitch was Twitch? I could have the channel back so long as I'm Southern from now on. I am a Southern <laughs> streamer. Uh, I'm streaming from uh, Swarmy, Alabama, as we speak, and uh, <laughs> it's uh, mighty, it's mighty, mighty. It's Alabama. It's not a South here in Alabama. Roll tide. <laughs> awesome. Uh, good to see you, JC. You can also catch him on YouTube. It's Cardinal Audio. Thanks, Scorpio Slayer. Mod love. We love some mods up in here. Now, next up on the list, we're just going to go straight forward in order because why not? We got the incredible, the heroic. Darian Audio as Tarky! Hey, yeah, how are you guys doing? I'm Southern, but not from America. I'm from <laughs> Latin America, so that's a lot more to the South. And, I don't uh, speak. <laughs> and I already come with an accent, so don't expect me to do howdy or anything like that. The howdy um, was... It was good howdy. Howdy was great. It was great. Howdy, howdy partner. Pretty that's good. all I have howdy. to say. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, happy to be here with all of you guys. Um, sorry that I missed last week. I had to go and get older, but I'm back hey, here. So. Yeah, <laughs> <Albert Bernie! laughs> 
Yeah. 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 It's, it's almost like we're in a Girl. themed restaurant and we're just like, we're going to take you to this cowboy restaurant for your birthday. I no left a week ago and now I come back and everyone is southern here, so I don't know what happened. What are you talking about? we always been southern around here, boss. <laughs> Ain't been nothing else but no southerners right here, right now. Uh, angry <laughs> stuff. No, Amber Light like, has that kind of accent, right? <laughs> No. I, I think so. No. <laughs> no. She does now. F now, Fene, let us say, who oh, introduced Ludo and Umbala, that is a quite different. Ah, that's the one. Altogether. That's the one. They are very similar. Um, next up, speaking of speaking of D and D, I don't fucking know. We got beef on the stairs. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah, there's some beef on the stairs, all right. Because we all Southern now. That's all we eat is beef. Yeah. That's all we eat. All day, every day. I have some beef skins. I have some beef innards. Oh, got some beef ears, some beef feet. It, it is kind of awful, actually. I don't really eat it very much myself. But uh, my name, Dom Package, right? And uh, playing in uh, that air be falling the stairs. <laughs> you can come catch me over here on JC's channel. Uh, it's a bit more Kentucky than Alabama, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> out of fried chicken, I imagine, from, from Kentucky. All right, I'm gonna get out of here, Rob Goo in the sunset. All right, later. Round and down on a horse <laughs> named Goob. <laughs> <laughs> Last but by no means least, we got Rubes making stuff. Making stuff. Secret R. Making stuff. What are you making, uh, Rubes? <laughs> How do you the character? I do indeed make stuff. I play Chameleon <laughs> Rose, your favorite Sunset Ranger. And I, as Rubes, have a goob dog who is a goob darn dog. She's a darn dude puppy. No. <laughs> She sure is. She sure is. Rube's just coming for all the voice acting awards right now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible stuff. And honey, y'all, you know me. You've been here with this rear saloon right before. I've seen y'all faces here. We kicked your asses out a couple times for drunken behavior, but that's all right. We all getting disorderly tonight. Drunk and disorderly, otherwise known as DMD. And hi, my name is Key, and that rhymes. <laughs> be... Sounds like a Californian. <laughs> I will be, I will be your drunk and disorderly de demonstrator this fine evening. Uh, I'm gonna be the monsters. <laughs> I'm gonna be the quiet whispers in the back of the barn at night. That was a great time for the music to fade out. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna be dead before this session even starts to this right. But it is such a pleasure to have y'all here with us today. My goodness gracious. Well, wow. Bless your hearts. Thank you for being here, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and Val, the actual owner is Right? <laughs> I feel like it's good that he's not here. You just have to suffer for that. Yeah, I think if Val was here, they would have left already. <laughs> Val would just be like, now hang on, now hang on a minute. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how that goes. Val would be like, you know what, it turns out I have to work today after all, so... Uh... <laughs> Let's go capitalism. <laughs> Amen. Yeah! You're, I was about to say, how's everyone doing? And I just read Roxy's comment, I'm appalled. Um, as you should be. <laughs> um, but you can check the comments to the side to see everyone's links. Um, my very non-updated story so far. Um, there's a giveaway going on. So if you have a favorite bit of any of these streams, even if it's just this bit right there, you can make that bit right there just happen and all. You can make a clip of that and send it to us, and you might win yourself a little gift to goo in the uh, giveaway that we uh, we've been doing. We hold. And, oh, you're um, telling me is if they <clears throat> if they do that, they can win themselves a chance in that giveaway. 
Is that what you're telling me? Oh, they... That's exactly what I'm telling you. Oh, Why is... Yes. Oh, my goodness. The level of cognizance and understanding of the rules of the giveaway right there is exemplary. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have a nosebleed. Uh, <laughs> so... Yes, it is very good to see you all. We hope you're all doing very well. Welcome, 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 everybody. And, um... We shall we shall we do like a quick brief overview of the story so far? Yeah. Introduction today. Shh. Does anyone want to do Tales of the Torn Veil Abridged as our introduction? I mean, I know, I know somebody who might want to do it. Oh I don't yeah. Know what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> who, who might who might want to do it? I mean, I heard. I mean, this is just what I read online, and it could be <clears> false, <throat> but I heard Rubes definitely wants to do it. <clears throat> I it's always them. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna you wanna give Rubes another D twelve of inspiration when you could have it for yourself. <laughs> I would want to take that opportunity from. I right mean, I already Rubes. do have inspiration, go, so go ahead and take it. Okay. Mm, All right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now. Wow. <laughs> it's a throwdown going on. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to take it. <laughs> okay. A long, long time ago, uh, adventurers gathered to hunt the monsters to win the prize. And we managed to hunt the monsters and win the prize. But when we were going to go get our prize, suddenly somebody attacked the big city. And the big city was on fire. We had to go save the people. And some people got kidnapped. Our priest friend got kidnapped. But it's okay because we managed to fight them off. And then we had the big celebratory dinner. And at the celebratory dinner, they were like, hey, you did a pretty good job of fighting up them fires. How about you come work for our super secret government society? We're gonna fix all the world. And we're like, what's wrong with the world? And they're like, okay, so there's these portals to like some other kind of crazy dimension and they're opening and crazy stuff's coming out of it. And we're like, what? And they're like, yeah, dude. And they're like, okay, well, we'll work for you. And then they're like, all right, cool, come work for us. So we go over there, we meet them. Right? When we're there, there's a big spooky door that we sneak around. We're not supposed to open it, but we do. We have a talk with some scary person in there, and they're like, mm, Tarquin, I think I know who you are. Tarquin's like, what are you talking about? And then they leave. And then we're sent on our first mission where we have to go take somebody to prison. And then we have to go to this other city to go uh, pick up a guy. And then while we're picking up a guy, we're also dropping off our friend or bringing our friend there because they have to do some mission for a demon. But it turns out the mission for the demon is they got to open up a temple and stay there. So now our friend lives in that city. Also in that city, we met a guy who was uh, one of our characters or one of the party members ex-boyfriend. And they ended up being oh like a God. super psycho guy. So we had to fight him on an opera stage. That was pretty cool. And then we had to, he flew away, he turned to a crazy angel and he flew away. And then now we're like, well, shit, okay. So we go back and they're like, all right, well, that's crazy. We have a new mission for you. We want you to go to this swamp to find this kid who's missing. We're like, okay. So we go there and the kid's missing and there's all these crazy, like, uh, twisted fairy tale type situations going on. It turns out the kid's a werewolf and he's being chased by <gasps> this lady. This lady's super crazy. She's like a super crazy Harley Quinn lady and she's like blowing everything up and we're like, stop that. And she's like, no, you go somewhere else. So she sent us to this evil <laughs> dimension and now we're in the evil <clears throat> dimension trying to get out of it because one of our party members, uh, Camellia, who is a satyr who's literally powered by the sun like Superman, she, there's no sun down there. So like, she's like turning into like a, like a Dementor or something. So we got to get back to the sun yeah. place before she turns <laughs> into a Dementor and eats everyone. And mm -hmm. that's where we are. Mm -hmm. oh, that's crazy. Yeah. God damn. That, you know, Th there were there were a couple of <laughs> little askew bits and bobs, but for the most part, that's pretty fucking accurate. Pretty <laughs> oh my gosh! Hi, Raiders. Hello, hey, Raiders. Ed. Hello, Ed. Hey, Raiders. Um, JC, can you do that again, really quick? Um, With another oh, advent yeah. for, so the, for the for the. We got we got we're, we're, we're the upside down. <laughs> yeah, sweet, awesome. But hello, Ooh. welcome on in, and please do join us as we are about to start today's episode of Tales of the Tiles of 
torn veil. Yeehaw. I love the torn veil. Yeehaw. So, where we last left off, the group had just explored a strange dwelling within um, the depths of Nil, having climbed down an upside down waterfall, what? And finding this small kind of nook of study and tables. Yes, and thereupon didst they find a strange ring bearing um, bearing some sigil of a uh, Nil E's family, um, the Oracalc Heraldry. And not only that, but the party picked up yet another friend in, oh. okay. <laughs> funnily enough, um, <laughs> a kid, um, a, uh, a Grimishka by the name, well, given the name of Gazantite, otherwise known as Gez, um, who has been since added to the Saka catnaps um, Menagerie. that Bifon currently has. So, all exploring has been done here, and where we left off, you guys were pretty much leaving the house with all your new goods and bits of treasure and trinkets and whatnot. Um, in tow, we still have um, Unconscious Scarf Colm, um, the drow man you all found on entering Nil before you even knew it was Nil, arguably. Um, a strange, very seemingly confused man who has lost quite a few marbles down here, potentially. Um, we have Kinry, the wolf child, who um, managed to get down here via Luto's fridge of holding. We have, of course, Briarly Throws, very non-awkward, non-confrontational mother to Camellia. And we have Illumid Senfaro, who is a very apt and handy ally, in that he has been the guide for the party to circumnavigate the wildernesses of Nil that have proven fruitful, to say the least, and very disorienting and dangerous to boot. But as you make your way out of these tunnels, um, or through these tunnels, you see that this even more subterranean area of Nil is almost like these coral-esque um, tubes where you can partly see through the holes into the environments you've just left with the slightly beach sand on the floor and the slight light dappling through from the ocean surface above. And you'll be walking through these tunnels for about half an hour or so, so if there is any conversation you would like to pursue whilst here. Oh, and Smalley's also here. Oh, man, she's my, my own baby and I fucking forgot her. Uh, and Small Moss, um, daughter to Yanka Moss, but thankfully not quite as um, dubious mor morality-wise. Um... But should there be anything you wish to speak of during this half hour, you may do so. If not, let me know. And you will make your way to another area ready for camp. Mm -hmm. Can't really think of anything. <clears throat> I did want to ask um, Briarly about the dimensional doggy door I have. See if mm. she's heard of it or knows where it goes. Yeah, can you do so now? I I just did. Okay, <laughs> I was I was about to check. <laughs> um, <laughs> she would take a moment and um, would you show it to her or just kind of? Yeah, I'll show it to her. Yeah, uh, she'd take a look at it. She's gonna we're gonna do. I get to roll first today. Ooh. Yay! Yeah. It's not great. Um. <laughs> She'd kind of look at it. So, it's a dimensional door, but why is it so small? I think it's for 
small pets, maybe. I don't know where it goes. I was hoping you did. Right. Well, I'm not familiar with this sort of... If it, if it were a humanoid-sized door, I could make more sense of it, perhaps, but... For it to be such a small door, and so magical... I'm afraid there may only be one way to find out. Thank you, oh, expert of, um, business acumen pieces. and management. I'm a manager. I haven't seen any of that, but trade. sure. I figured you would know what this is. Cool. Thanks. My apologies. Maybe once we get to town, someone there may know more. Mm-hmm. You sound unimpressed. I'm sure someone else will know more. Okay. Uh, her in... <laughs> she she doesn't seem to fully <laughs> grasp onto the the um, kind of expectations that were there. Um, yeah, she just isn't familiar. She cannot logic this one out. It's like, why is it so small? Why is it so magical if so small? Makes no sense. Also, you're not small, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, a small fit through a doggy door. <laughs> um, just from looking at her, um, she's not quite that small. It would, uh -huh. um, it would fit a medium to small, uh, dog or equivalent creature. Just checking. She seems <laughs> to have a bit of a big head. <laughs> she does. <laughs> She's slightly wide. Broad. <laughs> but if there is no That's other okay. business. Mm. At least her head isn't big as some people's. Oh, who is he talking about? Um, we shall never know. <laughs> so, um, as you make your way through these quite eventually somewhat claustrophobic tunnels you eventually come out kind of back towards an area that looks not dissimilar to the area you started out in with all the forests and undergrowth and the large mushroom-esque structures kind of out of this um seemingly undersea quote-unquote area and uh Alumir checks to make sure everyone gets out of the tunnel okay <laughs> kind of gives smaller hand down um, as well as anyone else that will need it. Right, well, we, we've, um, accumulated quite a party now, haven't we? <laughs> um, I mean, it's only one additional person, but, uh... Um, you, you see him swallow the, the, the p potential for words of mentioning her height, uh, in pure fear of her, uh, and intimidation. So, um, what would you uh, like to do? I believe we're getting somewhat close to the to town. It's difficult to perceive exactly, but if you are, if you will want another rest, we can do so now, or we can just keep going. It's been a full day. Feels like we're tired. It. It's difficult to discern days, but this seems to be about as long as the other traveling days have been. Okay. And it's the same day we fought the dragon? Or is no, time it's passed? the day after. Oh, okay. We've had a rest since then. Yes. Uh, Ludo will look to Camellia and be like, oh, maybe we should keep going been a while since we've seen the sunlight and this place kind of sucks oh yes of, of course um i do believe in divescus there are some healers that may be able to help so um and of course the teleportation circles should hopefully get you back up to uh, the surface before too long so you'll have options um 
Right. Uh, is everyone good to carry on then? Yes. How long till we get there? A very good question, my good man. I wish I could answer it with any conviction. I would imagine within a, another day or so, hopefully. Um, Bifon, I believe you connected and communed somewhat with the uh, wildernesses of Nil last, last we ventured. Um, so if you would like to roll... And you've been studying the Arcana. Um, so if you would like to roll an Arcana check, um, or a survival check indeed, to see if you can discern how far, how much further you believe the wilderness to be leading you before you hit civilization to be, you certainly may. Yeah, we'll do. The sooner I get us out of here, the better. For some reason, my throat kind of hurts. I don't know why. I usually only gets like that when I sing, but I never sing in public. Was I singing in my sleep last night? <laughs> it was kind of weird last night, huh? No, I don't think so. Did you there were a your... lot of strange noises coming from everywhere last night. Did yeah, there was a lot of earth, about... wind, and fire. Dream. Huh? Mm. I have dreams about singing too, and drinking, and presenting. Presenting? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, that's weird. I just had, like, mom trauma dreams, so... Ah, uh, I don't just... we all. just want to oh, get some fried God. chicken, personally. Just yeah, what did you dream for it. What did you dream about last night, Tarquin? Do you have weird uh, dreams? Uh, almost all the time, but, uh, fortunately, not last night. So, hmm. I guess, uh, I have a little bit of a break now. Maybe your bad dreams are in your arm. Uh, I honestly think that it has something to be with, uh, you know, what I am carrying with me. Uh, not uh, really the arm, but uh, the accessory. Oh. Is I the have been thinking still about on the it. Arm, or is it on? Do you transfer it to your other arm? Yeah, I put it on the other arm. Mm. It, yeah. Because it's in the um, in the wristband. Ah. Mm. So yeah, I switched it. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about that. Um, I think it was just uh, maybe a side effect of carrying this with me. So if it's a side effect, why did you put it back on? Kinry just looks at you, just confused. <laughs> because it is my duty. Sometimes we have to do things that... Uh, May not be pleasant for us. I mean, you're talking to the kid that's a werewolf, so I can't. I kind of, I kind of get it. You know. Yeah. You like being a werewolf, but you always wanted to be a werewolf. Just because I like wolves doesn't mean I wanted to be a wolf. With the well, people. I mean, sometimes we have to deal with things that are unpleasant. Anyway. Yeah, like Ludo snoring. <clears throat> I rolled a 22. What? what? Hey? This is why I don't <laughs> share a room with him anymore. Huh? 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 Uh, <laughs> friends turning in. Just poke their, <laughs> his head up from under the hat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22. Survival. Ludo. As you kind of look ahead... At these this strange almost almost um imperceptible environment you feel that <laughs> it, it's kind of almost like the tide you saw kind of above you the days before and the gentle washing and moving of the tides it feels as though whatever this wilderness is is that the tides are turning and whatever is beyond this hellish wilderness is not too far away probably closer to half a day rather than a day or two mm. in your got that, Ludo? at least <laughs> yeah I, 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 cool. it, it makes sense with that 22 i rolled apparently <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh my God. 
It was B <laughs> it was Bifon who rolled, not Ludo. <laughs> no, I meant I meant Bifon. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I I no. I I. I we just having fun. Beat up the DM. So a dragon. <laughs> where, where, where is the dragon? What? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna say Tarquin it. arm at it. He's gonna say beat up the DM, take her dice. <gasps> no, no, then my birthday dice. No. Another dragon shows up. It's just gonna be Ludo with a pot and Tarquin with a knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that is that is what you can discern. Beef on. Okay, DM. <laughs> Not far now, I think. Hmm. Lemur <laughs> just kind of looks at you not not what? fully competitively but kind of just like you seem to be taking more and more uh seem to be under trying to understand this landscape it's intriguing to me yeah um, do you do you, do you think so uh, it's possible i'm a little off oh same here but it takes years to get to know these environments and their tendencies. I'd imagine so. Kind of one eye just twitches a little bit. <laughs> right, well, if Look, we're... if he wants to stare at the sun like I did, he can, he can very <laughs> well do so. <clears throat> <laughs> he looks to the rest of the group and kind of claps his hands. Right, so... Uh, anyway, we should uh, be moving on. Is everyone, is everyone ready? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna. And he just starts walking, <laughs> hoping someone follows. And Small's just like, ah! <laughs> kind of catches up. Um. Ooh, who do I feel like? Who am I gonna bully? You know what? I'm not gonna bully them, but I am gonna ask Camellia to roll a d20 for me, please. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It's an 18. Okay. You know, fun. <laughs> uh, the rest of the journey <laughs> goes down without any a hitch any traps tricks or other enemies that were lurking in the shadows are either deterred by your numbers your powers your strangely very fey presence or a raw sexual energy <laughs> it took the words right out of my mouth the raw sexual energy of the party <laughs> briarly Yes. Uh, uh, well, I, I as I'm as I'm talking to Briarly, I kind of like walk to the edge of the crowd, opposite where Camellia might be, and uh, we like. Uh, growing up, uh, you you you've had Camellia since she's very little, right? Yes. Did she ever have any like uh, strange tendencies or anything? Anything she ever did that was, uh, maybe you found a little odd, maybe, like, oh, weird, she, why she do that? She always had a strange affinity for making friends. Oh. I never quite saw the point myself. Well, she made friends with us very fast, that's true. But I was thinking more like, uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, some kids, I heard that maybe some kids like to smell their own feet or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she eat her boogers. I don't know. Pick her ears. <sighs> She's going to roll an insight check. Okay. And... <laughs> <laughs> and I have an important question to ask you about Luto. <laughs> yeah. Is he projecting? Uh, Ludo did not. <laughs> Ludo had definitely done a lot of weird things as a kid. 
but uh, he did not. <laughs> not specifically. Feet. He wasn't flexible okay. enough to smell his own feet. <laughs> He's <Okay>. jealous. <laughs> and can't reach. Uh, that was. These are so cute. <laughs> that was not something Camellia found herself doing. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe Is it something to... you found yourself you're doing? Y yourself doing? Oh no! I wish. It probably smelled delicious. Uh, maybe she sucked on I mean, her hair or something. St what? Wh what's stopping you? I don't know why I'm asking, but I, I have begun, so I shall continue. I'll, like, try and kick my feet up and, like, Ludo probably can't get it up very high. It's not very... You know what? Ugh. Roll an acrobatics check. For Have, you ever tried to... <laughs> Have you ever tried to fold a bowling ball? It's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of... No, no, but, no, but you... Is no. there a check for this? Listen, you listen. You need no. help with that. Listen something. to me. Oh, listen no. to me. Can I roll a perception check to do I broke something. I rolled a one. <laughs> No, 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 that is not how you do it. <laughs> here's here's the thing, because my thought process, unfortunately, is that you know Ludo and Umbrella have been together for quite a while now, and True. and and there have been some acrobatics checks, and they have generally gone well. So, I think I think you're right. I think the flexibility is strangely achieved. Um. And, um, <laughs> oh, you know how, like, they I, say, I like, mean... if they, if a mother sees their baby in danger, they could, like, lift a car. Yeah. I think during, in the moment, Ludo is capable of superhuman feats, but without the proper motivation, he uh, mm. remains an unfoldable bowling ball. And he definitely threw out his back trying to smell his own foot right now. Neil okay. deGrasse Tyson is all sorts of shaking his head right now. <laughs> roll, roll a d4 for me, please. And also a constitution saving. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there are no dice rolls that can save you from this. <laughs> That's a two you on the d4. Just... Oh my god. Okay. I deserve that. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Oh oh my. The world needs to study more the, physics. I rolled the one on the con save as well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. So for any onlookers, <laughs> what you see is this strange line of questioning, uh, followed by Barley's question and uh, Ludo's attempt. Valid! And, you know, heroic attempt to try and smell his own feet. As he does so, um, he, he puts his back out. Ouch. Kind of lands on the floor. But in doing so, does actually manage to get a whiff. Oh. And it is pungent. Oh. And it's been, it's been a, a fair while in in this place without a without a proper shower or wash um for, for all involved and um don't you wear sandals I'm not... yeah <laughs> mm. i'm there's just so much stuff is in there there's stuff from oh, like oh no by the side of the river, back from when you were at Vinefell Creek, there's back just just dust days ago. Blood, <laughs> but there there has not been an opportunity to wash. It's 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 not it's not a personal thing. It it's just circumstance. It is pure circumstance. The lone um... Cheeto. <laughs> Cheeto. Oh no, Cheetos. Uh, um. <laughs> I don't want to. I, you're not incapacitated, but you do lose like a good couple of hours to to Ludo just not. Ludo's going at a third his normal speed. Let's say that. <laughs> just mouth just, open just from like the cat trying to yeah. breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. 
so um you, you lose a good bit of time of the day just um what <laughs> what i will say <laughs> is I... that is that Briarly does have prestidigitation well so does ludo i assumed he did regular okay, prestidigitation so just... but maybe he just he just hmm. missed some spots <laughs> Yeah, it's it, you press invitation to yourself. It's, hard to, uh, it's the sandals that are carrying. It's hard to clean your thing. feet when you can't usually see them. This yeah, is, this give him a break. Fair. <laughs> I, I, there is no shame from me in this. This is purely <laughs> circumstantial stank. This is not personal shame stank. I'm not here to say you got a nat one, you stinky fucking nitwit. You. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he would never say that. I would never do that. No, of not. <laughs> Stinky Nitwit comes at a different time of, of gameplay. Um, but Ludo okay, does yes, in fact so... spend some time prestidigitationing, prestidigitating his feet. Yeah, it takes a, f a few moments, but it it is all oh, sorted oh. out and <laughs> oh, like fish sauce. Uh, what happened? <laughs> I tried to ask your mother if she had any embarrassing stories about you, and then I tried to smell my feet because she said that I tried to smell my feet, and then it smelled so bad. Oh, ru Camellia, smell, 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 smell. No, I'll, no, I'll, no. I'll, I'll lift my foot, my foot towards it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Look, look, smell, smell, smell. Mm. Chase her. No, no. <laughs> Just, she's she is riding on the saber tooth right now. <laughs> <laughs> You saber tooth is smell. <laughs> the ten minutes of saber tooth just about keeps you out of reach until all <laughs> the uh, precipitations have occurred. Right. I know I'd regret asking. Shall we move on? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, my back. Okay. Let's go. Camelia, are you quite sure these are the people you would like to stay with? Yeah. Yeah. Before, I'm... can you uh, pop my back, please? I'm sure. All right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Come here. Give me, okay. come on, give me a hug. <laughs> I'm gonna grab your lower back. All right. All right. I need you to relax. <gasps> oh my God, Just are relax. we doing hugs? Fully relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Can I join in? <clears throat> There it is. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do, don't release him now. Don't okay, release him. Okay, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. I know how to use pressure points, so stay like that. Okay. Oh. Ha yeah. There you go. Bye. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Look at this. He starts. He's, he's more limber than he's been in days, and he starts wiggling his hips <laughs> Just in ways wobbly. you've never seen him yeah. do. Just <laughs> now uh, let go now. Like a bowl jelly of bones. jelly with a happiness in his heart. Yeah, <laughs> but just make sure he doesn't fall because I put a lot of pressure in that point and it may get his legs a little limp, it's, but he will be fine. Just w he's wiggling at me. <laughs> he's, uh, he goes back to, w to walking, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a sphere of water that's slowly rolling. He's got this weird kind of <laughs> lick vi like... <laughs> like kind of like liquid viscousness to the way he walks now. It's like, oh, he's so loosey goosey in all the joints. <laughs> I'm disturbed. <laughs> you get used to it. Mm-hmm. One. No, you don't. You don't. Oh. You pretend no, I'm you do. I'm, uh... Uh, it's a small. <laughs> you very much learn at this point. Small is very much of the mindset of if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Uh, this mm. is one of the first times she's been rendered speechless. Um... <laughs> I give Small a big hug as I walk by, as I amble ah. by. Ah, thanks, thanks for, oh, thanks for the hug, buddy. Oh, you smell really good. Thank you. It's magic. What the smell? Yeah. Ooh. Just smell like raw, the raw power of Arca Arcana? Look. And I'll take her hand and I'll press the digitated clean. You smell. What did you make it smell like? Uh, freshly <laughs> baked brownies. Oh my god. Yeah. She go. She like very slowly goes to like bite it, just really gently. 
<laughs> and as subtly as she can. You can have that anytime. All you gotta do is. Uh... Are you familiar with SME? History check. History check. I keep putting the lid on my dice. I don't know why. E. No. Oh, they, uh, it's, it's surprising. I feel like someone talked about it the other day, but I can't remember. I'm focused on brownie right now. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised at things you can do under his guidance. I am. Well, I starting to promote. <laughs> <laughs> I just see Ludo with a white shirt. <laughs> Have you heard of that, Smith? <laughs> <laughs> you smell like brownie salt anytime you want. That's that's pretty cool. You you subscribe to a deity just to make things smell like brownies? Well, that and other things. I wanted to live forever for my girlfriend, but then she got mad, so... Gotta figure that out. So you're gonna... you're gonna live forever? Yeah, I was thinking about it, but now she's mad. I think maybe she wants to break up with me after I die, so maybe I gotta stop doing that. Did, did you talk to her about it? No, she's upstairs. That's why we're trying to go there. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's well, one of I'm... those things where, you know, it's like, it's there and we don't really talk about it. And, you know, we make a love, but we don't talk about it. And it's kind of like, we're okay now, but we're not okay. And then every time it gets brought up, she gets mad. We got to talk about it. Oh, I've I've not really um seen seen someone like that in that capacity for 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 a little bit. So oh yeah, um, yeah. I know. Darkwin single. Darkwin, a wave. Yes. Ah! A, wa a wave at him. <laughs> she yes. terribly hides behind Ludo. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> Pointing at huh? small behind his legs. What about this? You like that? I think that's a no. A yeah, very particular dark wind. Wait, hmm. what, what? What? What's going on? Nothing. Not nothing. You want to know if I like her or something? Yeah, you think she's pretty? <laughs> she is, but. Uh... I have a history with her mother, so uh, I don't think that's going to work. Ah, yeah. Ooh. You're going to yes. kill your mom. True. Oh, man. Wait. This is... I've read books like this. Like, it's like, oh, these two people can get together. But if only your mother was not your mother, and then, and then it's fine. But... So I'm just purely asking out of like curiosity because it happens in literature so much. So if I I'm enemies to matricide? Oh. I don't know who matricide is, but if I murdered my mother, would she kind of like gestures her hands in like a shrug? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely get you some some uh, brownie points, huh? Oh, because the hands smell like brown. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he'll like it. Try it. I can't make <laughs> people's hands smell like brownies. No. You did that. <laughs> Try killing your mother. Maybe he'll like it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that will earn you 10 Tarquin points. Whoa. How, how many... Is there like a, a, a reward system for the Tarquin points? At a, at a certain like... amount, you can turn it in for lifelong love. So how many points are we talking? I just want to understand the numerical si system behind this. I'm kind of curious if I have enough now. Maybe if we the... pull it all together. Can we do that? Whoever reaches 100 points will get to sit next to me in the throne when I get my kingdom. So oh keep that in mind. My god okay on my way so but so okay that didn't really answer anything but that is very interesting thank you for uh also finding me a dragon egg will win you a lot of points 
keep that in mind. Well, we found a dragon, and it just flew off again. Yes, but I think she was a little um, overwhelmed because everyone was hitting her. Uh, and, and <laughs> she trying to, to be my friend, but uh, you were mean to her, so she left. I think she was trying to kill you, Tarquin. I'm not. I'm not trying to be. I'm no, really she not liked trying me. To be rude. She liked me. She told me the I'm her not name. saying she. You know, sometimes people kill people for the ones they love. You know, some people in books kill their mothers for the people they love. Maybe the dragon loved you, and so it was trying to kill you. I don't know how dragons work. Uh, she definitely loved me. Yes. I'm not. I'm not denying that. How many talking points is that worth? Not, not denying that. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna um, go talk to the tr the tree, and she just <laughs> walks, <laughs> walks further ahead along the line <laughs> of, of order. Um, and indeed, so. The journeying continues for another half a day or so until you reach a slightly newer and more different environment. <gasps> oh? You see where previously there were huge overgrown forests and undergrowths and very ethereal feeling flora things kind of in your immediate periphery begin to shrink to a more conventional usual size um, and you see these kind of bright blue and violet and purple flowers seemingly leading towards and either side of this more conventional path, dare you say. Rather than just an opening in the undergrowth, it is... It is not paved, but it has been lined with a different shade of gravel. And it is fairly narrow, and it is fairly direct with the sides of these plants and the elevation of the ground around it kind of rising up a uh, few feet, a good few feet ahead, it gets to a point where it's almost at shoulder height as these two large mounds of land kind of valley this path between them. And the group comes to a stop. Well, this either means that we are very close, or this is another trap of some sorts. I'm not entirely sure which. It's kind of what we paid you to know. I can sense the direction of a town. Less so its immediacy. This has always been the case. I will check and see if anything is immediately sticking out as a concern. Kind of reaches his hand forward and Waves it like there's an invisible fly there. <laughs> Just kind of trying to swat it away. <laughs> well, it's not an illusion. Anyone else may roll perception checks or investigation checks or you need any other sorts of checks should they so wish. I shall quietly so he doesn't notice. <laughs> I mean, we did pay him, so he's got to do his job. <laughs> if I got to do it, I'm taking his gold. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. No saying it's not. 
Okay. Okay. Farley just kind of looks around. I'm not as familiar with these kinds of environments. It does not smell of fey trickery, but it might not necessarily. Bifon, with your role, mm -hmm. um, you can fairly. Oh, they're in the wrong group. That's right. Um, you can fairly safely uh, assume that there are no immediate traps or threats lurking. Okay. To your knowledge. It's it's the stealth, you know, it's the stealth thing. It's to your knowledge, you are hidden. <laughs> you get that whether you roll a 1 <laughs> or a 20. <laughs> it yeah. just depends if there is anything else what they roll. Are we going the right way? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, you cool. can go in the right way. Um, Tarquin, again, you don't immediately perceive anything to be suspicious. Um, both of you do see what looks like a partly ruined wall uh, kind of a hundred feet or so in front of you. Just kind of straight along this path. I don't believe there's anything else here. And there is a doorway of some sorts up ahead. Mm. I'm not sensing any other ways to go. Are you? Hmm. Looks to be fun. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll that survival check again. Oh, what do you know? I got a twenty. Oh, damn! Woo -woo! A twenty. This road, it it it's almost specifically built to look suspicious. Hmm. Partly to keep nefarious beings out, mm -hmm. but also in a way to if a if a you know someone is in immediate danger, this is kind of like a well I'm gonna fucking die anyway. I may as well go this way, and hopefully there's some good news at the end of it. Um, That's some weird ass logic. Cool. It is some weird ass logic. Welcome to nil. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it, with a 20, pretty much seems to be safe, and it does feel pinging directly in the correct direction. Oh, I'd say this is the way to go. Don't you yeah. agree, Alamir? I do. That is why I was asking mm -hmm. your opinion, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. That's why I'm your... referring back to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed at your knowledge of these things. You've picked it up quite significantly quickly i might say i am also impressed uh, with my knowledge that i've picked up lately as you should be right Thank last you. time uh, it was we weren't sure and then i just walked forward i explode and my pants blow off uh, maybe we should have something go check it first now oh, camellia question <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Do you seek to use my child as bait? No, 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 I'd never. But uh, Winnie, uh, you had her since forever. She doesn't go away, right? You don't summon her? No, she's my pet. I've had her since she was a tadpole. Okay, okay. I, uh, I used to travel with a druid. And whenever there was traps, they would summon like a deer. Or like, uh, you know, a goat. <laughs> and then he goes see if there's traps. And sometimes there's traps, but sometimes no traps. Just picturing, oh. like, goat simulator physics <laughs> when there well, is a uh, trap. <laughs> I mean, uh, Bifon has the bag of cats, right? Yeah. And there's always uh -huh. one cat that he summons that always dies. So maybe we can use that cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't like that they die. <laughs> <laughs> This druid did not, did not mind at all. Well, well, well there's... there's uh, 
there's a difference if it's summonable versus if it's, you know, just a, a companion y you've made along the way. Yeah. Okay, I mean... Are you summonable, small? Yeah. So, d the, the saber tooth that you got out, that was a summonable cat. So if that cat died, it would... No, I was talking about you. Oh, am I summonable? Yeah. Yes. No! I'm a, I'm a person. Oh. Are you, though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. What is this? Amelia, get, get down from there. Get down from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, get off okay. the. What, what was the name? Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Phil. I'm Phil. gonna. Phil. I'm gonna have a little conversation with Phil on the side. Give him some pets. Give him some noms and everything. I'll cry a little bit. And tell him, like, uh, if you sense anything, you just come back. You don't have to set anything off or anything. You just come right back. Okay? We'll, we'll handle this later. Don't, don't you worry. We got big numbs next time I see you. Bye. Phil looks at the path ahead back to the group that's all like go on buddy you can do it I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up with him a little bit uh, and, and then you know what as a matter of fact um Phil you stay here and then B-Phone's gonna start walking forward Okay. You walk forward. Um, Small kind of looks to the group and and just kind of speeds speeds along behind. I a bit beef 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 on. Uh, you 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 don't need. Uh, I'm checking for traps. And Check, then there's, there's uh, this is a very dramatic way to do to to do it. Um, you talking about? You're doing great, beef <laughs> And you um, eventually get to this large kind of um, stone archway, all built up and crawling with ivy and flowers, luminescent, almost like fairy wings, some of them. And either side of this giant doorway are two slightly blue tinted lanterns. Okay, um, no trip so far. Be careful, okay? Well, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and she'll tap your shoulder and give you guidance and just kind of stand behind in a prepared position. <laughs> Do you open the door? What are you doing here? I, I don't. No one should have to die alone. Not that you're gonna mm. die, obviously, but you, you know, I I want to be here for if something does go really wrong. And... But Thanks. it won't. It won't, it won't go really wrong. Two It'll dead people. You know, I can open the door. I don't mind opening the door. You've got friends and stuff. Door? I can just open the door. I can open the door. You want to open the door? No, but I don't want you to open the door. Well, I'm gonna open the door. I mean, you know, do you want to open the door? Should we both open the door? Stand behind me. Okay. And Bifon opens the door. Just this huge, like, oaken creak as this door opens. Sounds like a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and as it peels open. Oh no, JC's gone. Damn it, he's got the background. <laughs> you see <laughs> this kind of sight of relief as this town, um, these buildings similar to home but not fully um, identical, um, lay before you. These 
cylindrical towers, um, various large stone buildings, all in deep dark stones, but decorated with these bioluminescent flowers and faunas and uh, flags, lanterns of all different colours. Um, a lot of the architecture is, resembles insect wings and parts and flowers, um, overcome almost by the nature of the area where once before it was just built as a regular town. Um, milling around you see a vast variety of different races and origins. Um, not dissimilar to other cities, but you do notice there are a lot more um, conventionally darker dwelling um, origins here. You see many drow, bugbears, hobgoblins, goliaths, other fearbogs, gnomes, dwarves. Um, you see animal folk whose um, regular animal counterparts um, lurk in the dark. You see um, le almost like lemur-like folk with these giant bulbous eyes, um, kind of smaller mole folk scurrying around. Uh, fox folk, all sorts of animals and creatures, as well as your regular, um, regular folk that you find pretty much at any city, town, or dwelling. And no trap goes off. Wait, there are people here? Yep. This is a wild entire town. We're still in nil? Yo. Um, Illumir comes up behind you. And, um, as does everyone else, unless anyone specifically wants to hang behind and <laughs> for some reason. Um, and, um, Illumir comes up behind you and says, Oh, thank the gods. Oh, you were right. It was only half a day away. Well, um, uh, I feel bad for not doing the whole big reveal with the door, but, uh, I suppose they change it to keep it safe, but welcome to Devestkus. Devestkus. Um, one of the towns of Nil, yes. Okay. It's nice. We are back to civilization. Yeah, but we're not out yet. No, it is indeed still dark here but there yeah yeah are cool people that th this was what was agreed upon was finding you to a town mm -hmm. and then and there's I'm... people here who can get us back upstairs that is that is the uh the way that usually goes yes okay Me let's too. go find them okay so you um likely want to head to this building here kind of gestures to one of the first buildings as you look um across the road again all very kind of quite dark architecture um but not it doesn't feel like overwhelmingly gothic or anything it's just all made from the darker materials of nil um so this is like a regular and... town but it is in nil so it's all yeah, kind of like how you'd have regular towns in the Feywild, but they look a little bit fairyish and strange, and there'd be stuff that you can't find in uh, the regular, quote unquote, regular world. It's kind of the similar, the same with Nil. Uh, the it's people got here have a kind of flavor. Look? Yeah, um, again, it's kind of a lot more dark dwelling creatures. There are a lot more drow. Um, the colors are a lot more muted. Um, in terms of clothing and fashions, again, it all seems to be very much heavily inspired by um, insect um, <laughs> insect parts and kind of wings, um, kind of larger f fern and flora, um, and um, kind of just dif a different kind of range of materials. So, like, if you went to a desert town, there'd be people obviously wearing various materials from more desert-dwelling creatures, so there'd be a lot more sandy colours, there'd be drier skins and tanned leathers and stuff. Um, 
compared to say a marshlands which has a lot more furs and leather and stuff like that and here is not dissimilar it has kind of a lot of iridescent kind of looking materials and fabrics um some that looks like almost like aquatic skin of some kind there are just again things with the textures and patterns of wings that kind of um are crafted in other materials but also at the same time other pieces that are crafted from these wings and other kind of mammalian parts and horns and all kinds of strange creature bits and bobs. Nothing with crystal though, funnily enough. Um, but yes, um, you see this um, kind of large building to the left as you enter town and um, Alume kind of brings the group over to it. This is kind of your uh, town hall building. Have any of you been to, um, I believe it's the Corsicals up in Isafray? Um, Have we? If anyone's been on like, <laughs> such a weird thing. If anyone's been on a stag do or like a hen do, um, for like a pre-wedding celebration, um, or a wedding abroad, possibly. Um, Tarquin would know of it because it's, um, not far from the monastery, uh, it's in that same region. Um, Camellia, probably no fucking clue. Um, Luna would probably know some of the spices from there, it's a very good source of spices. Um, nice. and Bifon would probably have heard of it just from some of the people he'd have met on his travels. Um... You'd know, you'd know generally that it is a kind of coastal town, um, sandy, quite dry, but also sun. it's by the seaside, so it's lovely and warm and uh, quite tropical. And also, um, Mirena, who married the Prince Wilbur, right back in Ashsky, is from there. Mm -hmm. Tourism, with its afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Explore the beaches and cliffs of the Corsicals. Um, so, relevant parties would agree or nod, and Camellia's just like, who? <laughs> exactly. Excuse me. Um, oh my god, alright, apparently somebody's <laughs> at the front door, be right back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Volantis again. That's a um, horror movie waiting to happen. Yeah, really. <laughs> At least it didn't happen at quite so spooky a time this time. <laughs> um, but I'm he would sorry, like... but I can't let you answer the door. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Vescus. Why did yeah, you like... not use the doorbell on the giant oaken doors to the opening of the city? <laughs> yeah, imagine that happening while <laughs> Beefon opened the door. <laughs> no, no, stop. Fucking cry. Um... <laughs> But he looks to you all and says, So the Corsicals, the mayoral office there, has um, a phenomenal array of teleporters available. Well, they have the one, but they're planning on, a, on an array, so I hear. Um, so, uh, we have a similar affair here, and in most of the towns uh, in Nil, where there is a, are a couple of teleporters that, for a small fee, well, for a fee, <laughs> uh, you can use and reach any parallel destination that you like. So that that will um, be your way out, if you so wish. All right. Um, I hate to bring this up, but it is the major part of being a freelancer. Um. The rest of the fee. Forgetting you here, Ziggly. Now I know we faced a lot of issues, <laughs> a lot of ginormous deadly issues. Um, but I'm willing to charge the same, regardless of those. You know, um, usually I'd charge extra for a dragon if I knew that like a dragon was a sincere possibility, but. Um, 
you did most of the work for that, so I'm happy not to add to the pre-agreed upon fee. How much was it? It's a very good question. Um, well, his he... his money was already taken out. I think oh, we did made you the pay the half. whole thing? Yeah, it was like. Well, because remember, we got we came into some money before from the chest. Yes, that's right, and you paid the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I okay. split I split everything out uh, amongst us, and he got his share for getting us through. Oh, quite right. My apologies. So I he's already taken to... care of. Although, in the future, you want to try not being so lax about dragging people through the mill? You really need to work on that. What do you mean, lax? I took you the fastest route I know. There's a lot of dangers involved. And yes. you're, you lose some, you win some, you lose some kind of attitude. Just mm, needs a little work. Well, uh, it is the tumultuous nature of the Nilese wilderness, my fellow. I, I am afraid. I'm sorry. You felt I was being lax. Um, it, it's all. You can... It's it's a criticism. That's that's it. Trying to help you out. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Go ahead. Continue doing what you were doing. You were just fine. I, I, well, I, was, I, was, I appreciate your custom, regardless. Um, mm -hmm. So, in terms of the, um, you know, the dragon, uh, are we mentioning this to people, or shall I just leave that with you? Because that seemed like quite a significant deal. And I'm not one to chase after fame or anything. I'm quite happy doing what I do. Just wanted to clear it with you all first. It's probably best not to tell anyone unless this group tells you otherwise. Perfect! That sounds good to me. Right, wonderful. Um, if you'll just follow me through this way then, and we'll see about getting you on these portals. Um, and you can also uh, go to the Adventures Guild desk to um, leave a review, should you so wish. Or a tip, indeed. But both are optional. Yeah, um, if you could point us in the direction of the portals, and also if you know where the uh, there's like a healing house, some kind of place oh. where they could reattach an arm. Of course. So I'll show you a por the portals, um, and then if you want a small tour of the town, um, I can find someone who will be able to arrange that for you. Mm, yes, please. Uh, okay. You want to wait till we get home, Tarquin? Because we uh, at least know those people to be professionals. I don't know if you want to get your arm reattached and you know. Well, uh, honestly, uh, if we find someone capable for the job, I don't care where they're from, but I understand that maybe these people are different it'd be a fun souvenir yeah um so what do you guys think i should get better chances anywhere but here i don't well, know the are... next time we're gonna be in a big town well the, if i may um advise you, you, i can not advise if you prefer um stop me now <laughs> uh but um there is a heraldry um, here that specializes in healthcare. You may want to find uh, an assistant of. Mm, well, I guess I'll take my shot then. Go yes. for it. Wonderful. But first off, let us uh, get to these portals, shall we? Mm, kind of opens, uh, opens the door and... Um, you see this wide, almost kind of looks like the um, lobby to a bank where there are different desks kind of lined up um, and a couple over to one side that seemingly have different services attached. Uh, and there's kind of one desk that looks slightly more official, uh, potentially for mayoral business, and uh, the rest seemingly for various transactions or queries. And then um, just behind... Um, a couple of those desks are what look like two circular uh, stone platforms, not particularly high, uh, fairly plain looking, 
um, and uh, those with any arcanic sensibilities um, can pretty much hazard a guess as to those being the teleportation stones. Um, saying that, as you enter, it is fairly packed. There are quite a lot of people, um, and you see um, a lot of the desks um, kind of in the front lobby are taken up by seemingly quite frustrated people. Um, some with luggage, some with suitcases, some just with themselves. Um, there's kind of one person there with a baby that's just squealing his little head off. Um, there seems to be a bit of a ruckus going on. But you see is... as one desk clears up. Is it usually this busy? I don't know. I don't particularly frequent these places, but I do feel like something is amiss. Um, do you want me to leave you to it, or...? Um... Yeah, no. start walking over, see what's going on. Okay, wonderful. Um, I'll be by the um, Guild of Adventurers desk um, back in the office if you need anything. Um, just contact the receptionist there. It was a pleasure hey. to meet you all. Yeah, in um, case we don't see you, thank you for everything. It was uh, really nice. And uh, just avoid the wilderness and uh, we should be fine. Yeah. But if you do find yourselves in the wilderness, um, he hands you a business card that just says Olubir Sanvaro and a picture of him giving a thumbs up. Nice. <laughs> you, I gotta uh, give me one of those. Nowhere to find. Well, I have mm. one. I can give one to all of you, should you so wish. Is no problem. I, I think he meant his own. Yes, oh. that's right. Why would I want yours? I want mine. <laughs> How does this I work? Well, I like. Uh, I talk to this, and then you show up, or what? Um, if you're in the wilderness and um, you find yourself there, and you have um, at least enough for the. Um, well, if, if I'm free, uh, I will come and uh, be able to assist you if you give it a little flick. All right. But I'm maybe busy or elsewhere or doing other things. Uh, but you Call may be given a... Calling card. You may be uh, given a replacement if it's not me directly. All right, next time we find traps, we can use this. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Uh, 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 Bye. Good. good, good uh, I'll speak to you soon, small. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, thanks again, Illumir. Um, appreciate it. <laughs> and he kind of walks off with a big sigh. <laughs> um, <laughs> partly of relief. Um, mostly of all of relief. Um, oh, he's such a such a nice guy. <laughs> did us, did us a solid. Oh, I think that desk's free. For pay. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not many people would go into the Nil Wilderness without pay. I mean, I did, but that was a mistake. <laughs> Glad you're here. You are? Y yeah. Aww. Hm. That's really nice. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're here, too. All of you. Kind of does a little curtsy to Barley. <laughs> So what's going uh, on once... with you, Small? You you coming upstairs too? Oh, um, I don't know. I might just, if it's okay, just like hang out with you guys and see what's going on and figure out my next steps. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. You guys mind? More than me. Oh, I've got that. Yeah, it's no problem with me. No. Um... Are you sure? We don't run into any relatives. Uh, we, 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 won't, we won't. I came here specifically because she has maybe no reason do. to be here, right? What? 
Hmm? Okay. You're not working for her, are you? For what? her? Like, not Mom? like you. No. Not that you would, but I just realized, like, thinking about my novels and stuff, that would totally be like a dramatic thing that would happen. No, 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 no. That's just fantasy. Okay. This is real life. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Things well, like that don't often happen. Oh, thank goodness, right? What should I uh, do with my scarf? Uh, I I'll, I'll have a look calm. around. I'll have a look around for that. You all speak about the teleportation circles and we'll see from there. As agreed upon. All right. Mm. Mrs. Throws heads off to a different corner of the of the uh, lobby. Um, you do see one of the desks becomes free that has uh, a small mole, mole folk person behind it with tiny little reading glasses and <laughs> spectacles. Um, kind of little, their little mole hands just kind of on the desk. Next. Uh, us, um, us. Uh, hello. Uh, yes, hello. Hello. Uh, how can I help? Oh, uh, you want to go? And I point up. <laughs> where would you like? Where would you like to go? Oh, uh, what was it called? Finevale Creek. Yeah. How close can you get us to there? Uh, uh, is that in near or easy prey? Easy prey. Okay, and kind of flicks through some pages. Uh, hoping to use the teleportation circles, yes? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I'm afraid uh, that, that currently, due to some strange arcanic circumstances, that they, the technology for them has been diminished significantly and so it is only members of heralded houses that may currently use them are you part of a heralded house yep kind of oh splendid may i ask which house uh perception check okay what are you trying to perception for trying to see if now or on the way in i saw anything about some kind of sign like hey house garble garb is the best <laughs> gotcha that is a 10 and i'll add my uh -huh. d12 dm oh you don't have to oh, okay <laughs> I'll, well, I'll save you the i'll save you the trouble um you you do not i mean you can it may, it may, it may help but um with a with a ten, there's no immediate uh, signs of heraldry or other family around. Um, you know, you've heard about heraldries before, though, fairly recently. Uh, what about a history check to know about <laughs> if I'd heard about any houses in this area? Sure. I would also like to do a history check. Absolutely, you certainly may. I forget who took the um, mm, signet ring eight. from the place. Great. 15. I can't remember. Your hands smell very much of brownies, though, so mm. that's really cool. Uh, 15. Um, and yeah, don't who forget did... my background. Who did... Send me a DM by what you mean by that. <laughs> Just please remind me. Um... Cause I know, yeah, I know there's things, but yeah, 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 um, yeah, um, it, with a 15, yeah, who took the, uh, ring from the office, the underground place that we went to last time? Oh, that was me. Yeah, I haven't gotten yeah. an update for the inventory, so. Mm -hmm. Uh. My apologies. I knew I'd yes. forget something. I knew I'd forget something too, like its name. Yes. It was a uh, signet ring. I forgot the family that you, the name that you gave me. Hmm. Um. 
yes, you can certainly use the thing you sent me. Um, <laughs> um, well, that's that's what and, I was going to go for, but now that you mentioned the ring, that's actually... and uh, Well, and you have the ring, which you recognize to be part of the Oracalc heraldry, which Oracalc, is a drow family. Yes. Mm. I will send mm, that yes, in that. chat as well. My apologies. No, it's okay. Oracalc heraldry. It's a busy week. It, it is, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yes, the Oratrice <laughs> Mechanique Dunnelly's Cardinal, much, yes. Much, much lower. Oratrice Mechanique Dunnelly's Cardinal. <laughs> ray tra it's ray, ray chasing. <laughs> it is. Oh, I had some fun coming up with the heraldries, man. Oh, it was crazy. The Oracle Heraldry. Yep. Um, so Bifon, seeing that Ludo is um, fum not fumbling a bit, but just We're kind of struggling the, uh, to. And you see him look around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see him do. I, I see him doing the thing. I am very familiar with the thing. <laughs> Ludo just just. How you get VIP seats on an airship? <laughs> movie going on in that head. Just. <laughs> oh. Yes, my friend and I here are part of the Oracle Heldry. And then I just flash the ring. Flash oh. mumbling. I see. Let me do a little roll for our mole friend. Yeah. Mean ghoulies wizard hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Um, they kind of flick through some of their papers. Um, okay, um, hang on, let me read your thing again, that was an interesting thing. I see, it's very strange because that is one of the heraldries we have listed, but there's not been any active members for, well, a long time. We've been on vacation, Topside, which is where we're headed back now. And when you say we... The, the party and I. You're all of the Oracle, Carol J. Uh, well, those are the servants. I see. So I, I, I might to presume that, um... This fine man to your side is the official herald, and they they kind of molarly molarly gesture. <laughs> that's a that's the word of the day, molarly gesture to Tarquin. And we, it is in your knowledge that most... what's funny is like if you were to just kind of nod your head, that would be directing something with your molar. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, yes, you would. You would know that uh, the vast majority of heraldries um, in their existences have been led by drow. Not all, um, but it is a convention that has been noted in the past, just purely due to the the, the drow uh, presence in the. No, 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 no. My my friend here is part of a different group, a uh, different family uh, from oh. the top side. Maybe you're not familiar with them, uh, the Bayanis. Um, no, 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 no. Do you, do you know that gentleman over there? Which one? Sorry, my sight is not so good. The one, right, right, right there. <laughs> I'm pointing to. I'm pointing at Tarquin. Oh yeah, yes, that that's yes. You know him? No. Should I? Ah. <sighs> is These he the people. herald? That is who we are representing. I see. No, I'm yes. sorry to make my lord speak. Please, do not want any trouble. Um, well. 
you, you see, there has been. Bifon is just staring, lips pursed, directly um, into his soul. I don't know if moles sweat, but this one is sweating. She is, she is shaken. She is afraid. Um, <laughs> she's. You, 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 she's kind of like twiddling her little mole, mole fingers real fast. The, 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 the paperwork it hasn't caught you listed on on the on the list for for, for the teleportation stones. Um, and I sincere instructions have been to only have those on the list, but. By no means am I refusing you, my my lord and, and uh, indeed noble heralds. But, 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 mayhaps you would find the company of, of of one of the other heralds that you are so knowledgeable with and in the companies of to to assist you in this matter. No. Oh. I'd like to roll performance. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how well it works. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I ask only to idea. see if there is a better role. <laughs> uh, Camellia, overhearing this, will very dramatically uh, throw a hand to her forehead and go, oh, I, I really don't feel so good. I really need to go to the surface and... Uh, and she'll fall to the ground. My lady! Oh my god! Is... This what we are to expect here? Is this the kind of service that um, that the head of the Orcock? Ah, oh, I don't believe. It. You're about to have a death on your hands. And just completely inconsolable. Um, and the ruckus of this entire lobby gets louder and louder as they kind of hear you yelling and they're like, yeah, fuck you guys! <laughs> Let us through! Um, and uh, after a second, you just hear a um, commanding QUIET! And a lot of things go quiet and um, <laughs> as you kind of look to them and then look back at Mole Lady, she's vanished. Um, it doesn't take a high perception check to see she's just hiding behind her desk. Um, she's just <laughs> very afraid of the situation at hand. Um, you see um, the person that has um, called out is um, uh, not so much one of the more noble looking uh, figures in this room, uh, but definitely some form of butler figure, um, or, um, as, as you are playing the role of assistant to a herald, um, kind of a slightly older, um, drow, um, kind of cropped white hair, and a f fairly, um, kind of regular suit, but that has definitely been jazzed up by money and, um, Nilly's fashion. Um, and he looks around this, um, kind of quiet room. Now that is all too much ruckus. This headache is overbearing for my lord. It is not good enough. Now, and, um, he approaches alone, your group. You spoke of the Oracle Heraldry, yes? We need to get this woman to the surface. All in Post due it. time. No, there is no due time. We must go now. This is the reason why we are trying to get a trip up top in the first place. And I fear it is getting too late. <sighs> what is it she needs? Sunlight. We can sort that out. And while we do, you can come do and so. talk to us about the Arkal Karadunji, yes? M mm, might want to do that now. Of course. Let us go to a back room out of this rabble, shall we? Back rooms don't sound like they have sunlight. My lord will make sure that it is done. Mm, I have no guarantees. I don't know who your lord is. I know who mine is. 
don't know yours. He looks very visibly perturbed. <laughs> what's what's that phrase? Um, oh, I oh, I always forget it. The you have ruined my day and uh, I always mm, forget. Oh damn! That one. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Right. <laughs> Submit it in the comments below if you know what I mean. I'm a representative. It's the dude who does food reviews. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. I'm a representative of House Erinzau. Lord Dustcon Erinzau. Roll a history Don't check care. for me, please. I shall. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> My response is probably going to be Bold the dash. <laughs> <This is> seven. <laughs> uh, add advantage with your um, background. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I said history, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, that would be a six. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so it's a seven with advantage. Um, you. It rings a bell in the it sounds like a drow name um but beyond that i can tell he's you're legit. not familiar Which yeah I could have there's assumed anyway. definitely a legitimacy there um but this is not the top dog that you are speaking to um, mm -hmm. no obviously really. you're yeah. both obviously as assistants to heralds um doing the parley for your lords uh who are present but not once I to be don't with this care if you represent House Burton Ernie. We need to get her to this surface. Are you going to hold us up or get us through? Because maybe then we can talk. Roll a persuasion or intimidation check for me, please. Oh, that's going to be a big ass intimidation check. <laughs> That is going to be a tarlay in his knickers. Natural twenty. Woo! Nice. Oh. He he like his head rattles just visually. Just he is incandescent, but is not <laughs> is not is is refusing to let that overcome anything. You will not. And you just hear a voice go. Another, another voice. <laughs> <laughs> just this group of ruffians just disturbing the shit out of everything. Yeah, everyone's just kind of like, what's going on now, man? This I mean, that's exciting. our group, right? That's just the entire Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, no, we're jerks. <laughs> um, hang on, I need to find a name real quick. <laughs> and you decide to stay with us. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. I'm going to pronounce it the first way it came up in my head. I literally just went to the generator of drow names. Because I don't have a fucking name for him. Jesma! What? Are you just going to keep throwing people at me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> um, you see the man in... The um, rattling man in front of you just kind of give you a look of oh no you've fucking done it now i've fucking done it fuck <laughs> all transmitted within a just slight eyebrow twitch pardon me and this very much um regal um expensive looking drow man walks over um almost with kind of a druidic outfit on um but in these darker colors um and this high collar and long very long braided hair and just incredibly pointed pristine ears and just this incredible facial symmetry it doesn't take a high perception check to know that this is likely the herald of the house and for him to and Bifon would know that for him to step in means that Jismar uh, has done fucked up because they should never be squabbling in this petty business. They only speak to each other kind of vibe. Jismar! Is there a problem here? 
No. My lord, there is... This woman needs sunlight. She, he looks down at Camellia. Um, and offers a hand down to her to help her up. Thank you. She'll take it and stand up. It's got a, a very gentle grip. <laughs> Ooh, a very gentle grip. Um, firm, but gentle. And um, as um, he raises you up, he lifts your hand kind of up to chest height and gives it a little squeeze and you see this tiny beam of sunlight just shoot from his, your hands to just above your head as he casts like this small sunlight spell just enough to cover you and you feel immediate relief as though the sun is back on your skin and just life is returning to your body very slowly but very very relievedly um and over the next few hours you will feel your exhaustion alleviate to complete um until it's completely gone um is there any reason you could not do this yourself but the, these people were well, these people. Did you not mention that they were of the Oracle heraldry? Or am I is deceiving me? And like the whole place is silent because they're like, oh my god, this this fucking assistant is getting absolutely shat on by his boss right now. This is this is like a king talking to a waiter about how the chicken's undercooked. Like this is peak drama. <laughs> I, I apologize, my lord, my words were not appropriate, and they weren't. You should apologize to each and every one of these gentlefolk. Now, he, in turn, to all of you, stands bows still very much you can see the veins in his neck just going crazy <laughs> like he hates having to do this but he bows and stands up i sincerely apologize for what i've caused him and he does that to the whole group and then to small as well and to Kinry. <laughs> um and small just goes oh that's okay you don't need to do it to me oh, that's okay okay he's doing it as well okay he's fine he's fine, he's fine. He's fine. now you know what to do in this kind of situation, do you not? Yes, my lord. I will hand in my resignation for sooth. Wonderful. Off you go. Yes, my lord. And kind of, as he, <laughs> he kind of takes a pause as he walks just past you, Bifon, kind of as he's level with you. And you just hear, like, a tiny little bit of the pressure just <laughs> and then he <laughs> walks away and out of the place and uh he and then you just hear the ruckus start up slowly again as someone's like so are we going to uh get on the traveling stones today no sir we're still working what do you mean and then the ruckus continues as it did before <laughs> um ooh a weird place to start um and um this um man will look at you all my sincerest apologies for all of that are you feeling better miss i do thank you I, what was that hell sunlight it should just take the edge off of this dark environment. This music is very foreboding. <laughs> Someone change the music! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a real power there. <laughs> yeah, right? It's slightly better. Um, I do apologize for... The ambience just changing here? It did, yes. 
Ah. My apologies once again for Gizmar and his entire lack of any formality. My name is Duskan. Duskan Erinzal. I am the Herald of Health here in Devestkas. I missed your names, though. I apologize. I'm Look, we really must oh, okay. be on. <laughs> <laughs> we really must be on. Uh, appreciate your help with Camellia there, but we need to get going. The teleportation circles, am I correct? Mm-hmm. May I tell you a frustrating tidbit of information? Sure. This is just to be kept between all of us, you understand. Mm -hmm. The circles aren't working for anyone. I'm not sure why they've decided to go with the just for VIPs thing, because it's not working for anyone whatsoever. I suppose they don't want to alert too much panic that one of the major sources of Arcana to our town has been severed somehow, but good news is that someone is on their way to come and fix it. I mean, surely you would know who from the uh, heraldry of engineering. We've you been out of town. Them, haven't you? How long for, may I ask? Quite a while. I see. And, um, my lord, brother, dear herald, looks to Tarquin. What shall I refer to you as? Um, um, well, you can call me um, Riordan. <laughs> Riordan? Yes, but uh, not like uh, the demon god that uh, chases people around and does bad stuff, pretending to be good one. No, no, no. I'm uh, I'm a good Riordan. Riordan Orichalc. Yes. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Well, I mean, I understand you've been above in the above lands, but yes. to not even exist in the records down here, it's rather curious. I see that you're in the habit of disrespecting the help. Speaking me. over me to my master, um, I think we'll be on our way. We are both you should probably hire your man back. He we didn't do anything lords wrong. He was just doing houses. his job. My dear, we are both lords of our houses. It is custom for us to speak. Many would not speak to the assistance of their other lords. I see no oh. such need in those formalities. I see. I see you do not know, Riordan. Ah, I, I understand. I don't. Of course you would not see in those things. See, we've been gone quite a long time. So we have learned some of the customs of Isifre as well and incorporated them into the family. So we just have a different way of seeing things these days. Um, when will this engineer be along? Well, hopefully within the next day or so. I was only meaning to request... Recommend some place for us to stay? Well... My tower has some fine places. Some of the other heralds have different rooms, should you wish to get to uh, reacquaint yourselves with them better. Well, we'll just get off to reacquainting then. Of course. Would you reacquaint yourselves with more? I can organize a dinner. At least for those that are local. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. We are all brimming with curiosity as to what happened to the Oracle Carol here. 
I think we'll be fine on our own. Wonderful. Well, I may do that, so anyway. But you are welcome to join. My house is the largest. The uh, big it's one. It's not the largest. It, there are many large buildings here. It is um, the columnless tower building up on the hill. You should find it there, with flags bearing my heraldry mark. You're more than welcome. I will let my butlers know to expect Riordan or Kalk and his party. You're all welcome. We all sit at the same table. Seb, Seb Jismar. He no longer works for us. That was his own decision. That didn't seem like much of a decision. All right, take care. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Not at all, Riordan. And of course, that spell will last as long as you need, my dear Camellia. And what were the rest of your names? Sorry, I believe I missed them. I'm, I'm small, and this is Kinry. Kinry Bre just, like, raises a hand. <laughs> I'm Briarly. No. Nope. Briarly? Yep. Right. Well, Briarly, Riordan. I didn't catch your name, good sir. Bifon's gonna take the billowing cloak and pull it up over uh, Tarquin's missing arm and start to walk away. Uh, my lord needs his rest, okay? So, unless you, uh... Looking to direct us to some place where we can get some, we'll just be on our way if you don't mind. Uh, thank you for assisting Any of the me. large towers with the heraldry flags and, outside of them should uh, welcome you. The large towers with the heraldry. Yes, yes. <laughs> if not, there is a more cozy, homely uh, townhouse for various accommodations and hotel rooms. Not far across by the pond. Ooh, that sounds nice. But, but my lord likes cozy. Of course. Right, Riordan? Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> See, loves cozy. Let's let's be on our way. Of course. Farewell. For now. And should oh, you need is anything he, for is your he ever ailments? Stop talking. And should you ever need anything for your ailments or He's whatever ails you, <laughs> you may come to me, and the light shall heal you. Oh my god, he won't shut the fuck up. Do they hit him in the head? No. No, 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 no. Stay in character. He's a, okay, okay. He's a healer. Maybe he can fix your arm. Well, I, I heard what he said. We'll take care of that. Don't worry. He's been talking this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and verily shall see you once again soon <laughs> until then good day mm, we're kind of... like a block away already <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you find yourselves in this new town it is while still kind of at the borders overshadowed by this large looming mushrooms and undergrowth of the wilderness, it does bear a lot of respite, um, just with being open and there being paths and civilization um, and a vast array of different architectures and buildings, and, um, some with multiple towers, as you can see in the, the nice little background. I'm so happy my computer could run tiny glitch. Um, you can see uh, a lot of dome-shaped buildings, all with these similar kind of um, slightly convex um, roofs. Where would you like to go? Oh, Briley! 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 Briley is like, comes and back and joins you. Any luck? No, apparently um, teleporters are down right now. 
They should have somebody in very, very soon. I see. Yeah, and they also think that we're part of the Orokark heraldry. It's probably the best way for us to get to the front of the line. Uh, Hmm. Do you have any pull in this area, Riley? Unfortunately, I do not. Uh, This is not the Fey Wilds, after all. And even in other courts of the Fey realms, if they were not familiar with our Fragmentium, then I would not much hold power there either. Wow, it's kind of like power is some weird illusion or something. <clears throat> Anyways, um... It can be. Yeah. It's a tool like anything else. Illusions can create belief. Just, just keep going all the time. Um, so... So a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> dragon? Where? Where? <laughs> Well, I have managed to find at the Adventurers Guild, there are there is a whole department dedicated to helping to reunite those who found themselves in the wildernesses. So, I figured, unless you had any other ideas, we could take Colm and, well, Colm and Kinray there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Briarly. Of course. All right, so we should head there. Um, I can so, take them there now. I have some business I'd quite like to attend while I'm here until the portals are fixed. Well, priority is we need to get out of here. And we can only do that once everything is repaired because we need to get Camille out of here. Um, I wanted to pull us away from that situation because of what he did for Camellia. I didn't want him to think that we owed him anything. But he did say he was some sort of minister, minister of health or something like that. So we may be able to help you, Tarquin. Should we go to this party? Well, if he's holding one anyway, you know, maybe the other things that people do could help. Like, especially if he's a health dude, he might know, like, a replace arm dude or something. It would be better for us to make friends at the party and not during an incident at a travel station. Very true. I do believe from what I've gathered, the heraldries here are not dissimilar to the different courts in the Feywilds. So each of the different families is responsible for one area of industry, so to speak. Well, that's great, because you're going to be an assistant to um, Riordan's assistant. I will, will I? You uh, you will. Camellia, that's, that's the voice you don't like your mom doing. <laughs> that's, the, that's the scary <laughs> voice. You're like, that's the uh-oh. Uh-oh voice. And why will that be? Because you know how to navigate these spaces about as well as I do. All the better to keep our cover, because if we can't keep our cover, we're going to have a problem getting your daughter out of here. But if my daughter is to stay away from home, then surely she should hone these skills for herself. If that is what is so insisted upon. Ah, oh, well, you know, a good parent teaches regardless. You know, unconditional love and all that stuff. Unconditional love. Well, I have... Ever heard of it? Then. We had a discussion back in the tunnels. Hmm. We've agreed that there's only but so much more help I can provide. Well, there's only so much patience that I can provide, so you either help or you don't. But if we get found out, not only are we getting pushed to the back of the line, likely people are going to have questions as to how we know the Orichalc heraldry in the first place. Because uh, we need some time to figure out what happened to them since they've been gone for so long. You could work on that if you'd like to. I can have a look into things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could help with anything. That would be great. 
I am. I'm going to help find Kinry find his parents and Colm find whoever. Uh, you've already told us the place, to uh, so we could always go to the guild ourselves and take them. Or when we get to the surface, we can take them home personally. We could do all those different things. Of course. I can step back fully if that's what you prefer. Wow, it's just an all or nothing thing with you, isn't it? Oh boy. What's happening? Where are we going? I'm trying to get someone's arm back. <laughs> if possible, we're going to a party. Let's uh, go to the Adventurer's Guild. Briarly can think about if she wants to go home by herself, or if we can all work together to get the fuck out of here. She just kind of thinks quietly to herself. Okay, hey, Kenry, you want to go home? Or you want to stick with us for a little while? Uh, I mean, it would be nice to know that my parents aren't dead. That's true. We would also like to know. Yeah. Uh, so... You can stick with us and we'll get you home, or we can send you home now. We're definitely putting the old man in the mailbox. In the mailbox? I, however they ship them back, I don't know. Uh, hey, if they can get you guys home, it's possible they can get us home too. Maybe we should all ha head to this adventurer's guild. The service only looks within the wilderness, potentially, and the other cities for whether there are any leads to the other lost companions. It can do no more than that. From what I've gathered. I'm new to this as well. My apologies. Okay. So... Let's... Maybe split up for now? And then... I'll come with you guys, and we can find Tarquin and Arm, and then decide if we want to go to the party, or... Does that work? Well, we're going to the party for Tarquin's Arm. Oh, I see. Okay, well, we can just see about one of oh, those tours. Tours? Well, Louis said you can get us a tour of the, of the town, see what else is here. Cool. Okay. Tour Anybody time. else? That sounds good. Mm. Alright. Okay. And that, with this very dramatic music. <laughs> Jeez. Is is where we shall take a break. Cool. But hey, we're not in the wilderness anymore. We're in giant yeah. things that can kill us. And Camellia got a sun pill, so Camellia is better now. Yay. No more disadvantage. Yep. No more Yay. disadvantage. All right. Now we just got to fix the arm and get the kid home. Mm -hmm. Fix the arm, get the kid. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't realize that, like, while we got teleported down here, they got left with gimmick. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows what is the current mm -hmm. status of oh my God. Vine Yeah. Fine. 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 It's fine. We're going to take a little break. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. You're about to have another child, Ludo. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> There's Barbanus. We can drop him off there. Mother or oh, no. everyone. Here is her new grandson. <laughs> Grand granddaughter <laughs> and grandson and grandbird. Stop bringing children back, Luto. <laughs> right. Please. <laughs> There's like seven other kids there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, this, this one is like, useful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, but yes, go get some drink, some snacks, all that good stuff, and we will see you after the break. Ooh. Hey, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going.
Hi, welcome. Hello. We're back. Hi, we're back. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, Howdy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so deep. So good. I love how you just gave us the name of somebody who is already gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, his name is Jismar. I had to simply yeah. share Jismar yeah, Dalmir. Oh, I mean, it came up in the generator, and I was like, I have to. Mm. I don't use the generator often, but when I do, his name's Jismar. Which is sometimes um, it's the best. In Irish, it's come more. <laughs> um, so Jismar's one who got fired. He is. <laughs> Jismar the unemployed. Well, he didn't get fired. <laughs> he handed in his resignation. All right, because he was. He fucked up. It was implied he that angry. he had to. Right. He, because he, I can't fire you. You have to let go of yourself. He blew his strumpet around, uh, around people. He lost his composure. Isn't it terrible? <laughs> In it, <laughs> in it, though. Can't believe I can't believe he did that. Can't believe. Can't believe he did that. Um, speaking, I can't believe. So, the party, all of the party, most of the party. I think all the party is heading back into the mayoral building, at least to find um the people who can find people, and slash or also to get a tour of uh, the town of Devestkos, where we found ourselves. Yes. So, um, only moments have, only moments after having come out of um, the kind of um, main hall building, you re-enter the main hall building uh, and see um, the little, the little mall lady back at her desk kind of see you and um, tries to communicate more again uh with whoever she was speaking to uh, so she doesn't have to <laughs> to face you guys again she's a little bit intimidated um and still a bit of a ruckus going on um but you do indeed see that to the right hand side of the um of the lobby is uh a li just a very it's almost like lemonade stand like a really souped up lemonade stand um, but very small, um, that has an Adventurer's Guild sign. Like, it's very neat, but it is, like, a really well-done school project. Because it is just so, it's not, like, usually Adventurer's Guilds have, like, entire halls and, like, a waiting room area and a chill area and multiple boards for missions. And it's, like, this is, like, a little stand with some pamphlets and then, like, a door that goes into a back room. And you can see Friends like, of you are small. There. Well, just I, I, I mean, any friend, anyone in the Adventurers Guild is a is a friend of mine. But uh, I don't know them all. Oh, I um, just seem like your kind of people. <laughs> Which is funny because as you, <laughs> because it's fun. as as um as you look <laughs> over, there is there is not particularly anyone behind the desk currently. Um, as you look over, wow. <laughs> um, at the <laughs> oh shit, I'm, there's nobody see... here. <laughs> no, I'm down here. <laughs> um, practicing while Danny's gone. Um, you do see like a small window that leads off into the door that's kind of at the back of this um stand up table. And uh, you see briefly through the window, um, Illumir appearing to be what uh, what appears to be getting a cup of coffee um, or a, a beverage of some sort. And uh, he kind of catches your eye, um, staring across at you, raises a hand as if a wave. Kind wave. of po points to the points to you guys and. Um, roll, roll a perception check, everyone, <laughs> to see how good your old lip reading is. <laughs> everyone in chat, the cat I'm cat sitting Lulu says hi. <laughs> oh, no, roll she, was, she was literally just looking up at me like, mm, hugs. <laughs> Eleven. Um, 
he moves his mouth in a way that suggests that he is saying <laughs> it's not very easy to read his lips. I got a 21. Oh, shit. 18. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. No um, disadvantage. Yay. Oh, shit. Nice. Um, so, um, uh, Tarquin and Camellia, you see that, uh, that your boy Illumi, uh, is mouthing, um, do you need me to come out there? Camellia nods. You see his shoulders go down a little bit. And he, he looks at his coffee. <laughs> looks back at the little kind of desks and tables back there. And then just comes out but brings his coffee through. Ah! <sighs> Well, it's been so long. <laughs> oh, how how are we all doing? Can can I help with anything? Takes a sip of his coffee. What? Why did you guys call him over? Oh, I thought we needed someone for like a tour or something. Oh, yeah, I can um. That's great. Uh, I will get Glass out here uh, as soon as I can, because they're technically on desk duty today, and um, I'm on break. Uh, in case he didn't, you know, holds up the mug of coffee. Um, so, I'll call Glass out and give you the personal recommendation, and uh, see if I can hook you up with a tour of the Deviscus. Are you liking it so far? Are you enjoying your time here? Oh, it's grand. Wonderful. Wonderful news. Um, very glad you liked it. It's better than being dead out in the wilderness, at least. Um, wonderful. Okay, I shall be... Well, I, I shan't be back, but, um, my colleague Glass will be out, uh, presently. Okay. Kind of just triple checks. No one else wants anything. I keep going on my break now. <laughs> kind of <laughs> goes through the Joy. door. Joy. Close it. Thank you. <laughs> just goes and sits on the couch and just takes a big sip and just oh, just melts back into the sofa. It seems cozy. Uh, it, it is. It is a little little tiny shitty staff room, but it is their little tiny <laughs> shitty staff room. Um, after. Only a minute or so, um, you see the, as you're kind of looking over these various pamphlets of how to survive nil. Number one, don't go in the wilderness under any circumstances. If you lose someone in the wilderness, contact the Adventurers Guild and we will find someone to help you. But for the love of all that is holy, whatever deities you prey upon, or your belief in yourself or other worldly forces that do not include deities, do not go out into the wilderness on your own, or even with a group or a trusted friend or family member. Um, number two, uh, hydrate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, you eventually see, um, I'm so excited. Um, you hear, you hear the voice first, um, kind of. Ah, uh, um, yes, I will be there shortly. Sorry, sorry. I will be there shortly. Um, and, uh, eventually you hear like a little as um like a wooden stool is dragged across the floor and um you see this tiny um well not tiny but small about the same size size as small funnily enough if not slightly taller uh raccoon folk uh person stand up on the stool behind the counter um tiny little raccoon hands um kind of wearing similar outfits to the rest of um, the population here, they've got this kind of big, almost crocheted, um, really fancily crocheted, um, kind of plant bulb shaped hood, um, and a couple of, like, armoured scarves around their neck. Uh, hi, my name is Glass. It is very good to meet you. My friend Delumir pointed you, me towards you. 
Um, how can I hear you? Um, you need a tour, yes? Yes. So you are the tour guide? Well, I am, I am Glass. I work here at the Adventures Guild in Duvestkus. Um, is this your first time here? Yep. Uh, yes, you could say a... so. Um, you, and, and for any of you who were on Ash Sky, they, like, their bright, big, sparkly raccoon eyes do remind you a little bit of Christy. Um, kind of, uh, just very bon vivant. <laughs> very alive, very energetic. Um, slightly more calm, though, on the interior. Mm. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, may I get all of your names so that we can make the acquaintances uh, with proper formalities? So, my name is Glass. Bifone? Bifone. That is an incredible name. I like it a lot, yes? What about yeah. you, sir, with the, uh, with the head? Uh, I look That's at everybody friends. else. <laughs> <laughs> you are the only one with a hat. <laughs> I kind of look at everybody, kind of see, like, are we giving them real names? I mean, I guess Bifon gave the real name. Bifon just did, yeah. Uh, Luto, mm. that is my name, and this is friends. Oh my goodness, you have a bird under your hat. I don't think I have seen many adventurers with a bird under their hat. How quaint, I love it. Oh wow, so magical. Are you okay under there, little buddy? Would you like a cracker? <coughs> Feeds friends a cracker. <laughs> oh, what about me? How come I don't get cracker? Hey, I oh. want cracker too. Ah... Uh... Okay, I can feed you. Uh, you will need to bend down a uh, little bit more, sir. Bend down a little bit more. I am uh, only tiny. I hurt my go. back earlier. Eh. Uh, yum. Oh, no, I am so sorry. I am so sorry to hear that. We might find somewhere on the tour that will be able to help you, yes? Oh, very good, very good. Ch chin up. Your back may be hurt, but your chin should always be skyward. Okay. That is what my grandpa kind of used to say. <laughs> Uh, he had very bad back injuries. Um, he looked too far up, though, and then it just worsened them and, until his uh, inevitable demise. Okay, did you also want a cracker, sir? Yes. Ah. Uh, you know the last thing I ate? It was what? a cookie made of sand, and it was disgusting. <laughs> what in the heck? Why would you eat a cookie made of sand? Because I trust my friends. And sometimes they betray me. Oh, I am sure it was nothing but a little trick, huh? Yes, They were yes. not trying to, you know, kill you or anything. Oh, no. There are far worse things you could put in a biscuit if you're trying to kill your friends. Imagine losing someone like me. They would be lost. Ah. And you would lose yourself as well. Ah, what a tragedy for the world. Exactly. Now, do you want me to feed you this cracker, or do you want to just take it and feed yourself? Like I still have one arm. I can feed myself. No worry. Okay, no worries. There's no judgment either, right? Okay, well, if anyone wants a, a cracker, just let me know. Um, there is a limit because I am a hungry little uh, raccoon, okay? So, um, we have Luto. And what was your name, sir? What do you mean, what is my name? Rolling the dice now. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> been a while. Um, it's ooh, been a I while, am, yeah. I am really good at guessing names. Okay. Um, okay. What is your favorite flower? My favorite flower? Uh, orchids. Oh, okay. Um, you see a cube in a field. What is the weather like? The weather. What do you mean? In your mind. I don't know. I, I, I'm not in the field. But am I in suddenly in a field? Okay. You're suddenly in a field. All right. There is a big cube in the field. Why is there a cube in the field? I don't know. Well, I don't either. But there, there just is. 
What is the weather like, though? Uh, I don't know. It's cloudy because there is a cube in the field, and in the cube is magical and attracts clouds, and something happens. Incredible. Okay, one more question. Sweet or savory? Uh, savory? Your name is hmm. You are a tricky one. Your name is David. What a day? No, that's not my name. Okay, how can you say it's David after a question about the weather of a field with a cube? Let me let me try again. Sometimes my first guess is a little off. Tarragon. Uh, like the uh, herb. It's Tarquin. Uh, oh, that close. something else was kind of close, though. It was close, it was close, yes. You know, my third guess would have been Volantis. <laughs> that would have been really crazy. <laughs> um, okay, wonderful. And what is your name, my friend? My lovely... Oh, you are like a deer. Uh, yep, uh, my name's Camellia. Ah. Oh. You are of the sun, Camellia, yes? Uh, yes. I can tell from the little ball of sunlight above your head. It is keeping oh. you in jovial spirits. That's still there? She'll look up. Yep, I'm still there. Hmm. Yep. Wonderful. And uh, what is uh, what is your name? Small. Yes. That, that checks out. Wonderful to meet you. And who are you? Kin, Kinry. You smile funny, Kinry. So do you. <laughs> I like this kid. Good attitude. All right, wonderful. So, are you? No, hang on. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, are you all... A part of the Adventurer's Guild? Uh, I am. I don't know about um, these guys. Or the Breakfast Club. Ah, oh, they... That might be the single best name I've ever heard for a party. You know? It's alright, yeah. There, but there are so many people that are like the loner swordsman and the solar eclipse and um, the the cheeky monkeys and all of that stuff. But I like that you are you appreciate breakfast. Well, what's the best meal of the day? Breakfast. Yes. You and then know. you just have breakfast three times a day. Exactly. Four, maybe even seven. Ten if you're feeling a little hungrier than usual. Well, you need variety, but there's nothing like midnight pancakes. I'm speaking to my own people. Okay, um... Oh, I'm checking now in my databases. Um, you are on a quest, correct? In uh, Vinefell Creek? Yeah, we were, are, I guess, still. Mm -hmm. um, has that mystery been solved? Henry just yeah. looks to the group. <laughs> just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> has it? <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, in that case, um, I can give you your reward slip and your pay. Well, it doesn't list your pay. That's weird. Well, you might have to go back to the place where you initially got the uh, the bounty from to get the money. Um, but, mm. you know, you deserve some money. So I'm going to give you guys 50 gold, okay? That's just from me to you. Just common decency of the Adventuring Guild. Um, I also have a celebratory stamp that I can put on this envelope that I will put your 50 gold in. Um, that will not get you anything. It is just a personal flair I personally like to do. I like to make stamps 
um, there you go, and you see um, they've, they've put this little, like, light blue stamp that's just a little raccoon outline and little stars above them, and understand, underneath it says, congrats! <laughs> <laughs> In a little circle. I love them so much. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> and um, that will be added to your points on your advent. Now, can I be reasonable with you? There are levels to adventuring guild parties. And each of those different levels like, gets you different rewards and, and stuff and things. Um, like a gymnasium. But I've never fully understood it. So I'm just going to say you're officially level one for completing your first quest. And it's your first quest. Wait, I have a stamp for this somewhere. Let me find this stamp. And you see them just start rummaging under the table. <laughs> just... Okay, there we go. Boom. And they stamp it both on your certificate and on the envelope as well. You'll get double stamped because I like you. And this one's a yellow stamp that... It's very similar to the congrats one, but underneath it says, you did it. Um, and then like a level one ring around the outside. <laughs> um, you can tell they've probably got stamps for every occasion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, I'm sorry you lost a party member during your mission, but you still did really <laughs> well. And I'm glad for you that you did that and you, you avenged your friend properly. Like a whole ver <laughs> just all of the stamps. Um... So, there you go, you are officially level one. Congratulations! How do you feel? Elated. Wonderful. <laughs> Elated. Some people say they feel a rushing sensation from their heart to their head or their genitalia areas. Um, from the well, excitement. Well, it's only level one. Ah, every adventure starts somewhere. And if you mm -hmm. don't do your level one adventure, then you can't get any other levels of the Adventuring Guild. It only takes one mission with the Adventuring Guild to be branded an official adventurer. And you guys have done it! I'd say that's pretty cool. Yay! Why do, why do you all, you all seem a bit glum and tired. Is everything okay, may I ask? I know it is about, I can just do the tour if you prefer. Lack of sunlight. Ah, oh, I see. Well, this place hasn't got sunlight, but hopefully you can find the little areas of brightness and love within the Vestkas that will make it feel like you are in the sun. That's my goal, at least. So shall well, we, we go? Well, before that, we were wondering oh. if you can uh, transport some of these people back home. Oh, I see. Um, are you looking? Ah, well, the teleportation circles are out. Um, mm. are you looking to? Um, find them their compatriots we have the lost and found service um at this point Briarly pipes up behind you yes that one. Oh, hello tall lady my goodness you're very tall yes wonderful um are you from the fey the fey realms i may be ah well only such beautiful people would come from around such as one like that is <laughs> incredible. Okay, so for our lost and found services, that is my um, co-worker that deals with that. I can get him here for you. Um, basically, we will find some adventurers that are fairly familiar with the um, wildernesses of Nil um, and who uh, perhaps pray to uh, some of its deities who may be able to help and we can get them looking for their compatriots alive or dead or incapacitated in between and uh, try and reunite them uh, it can take 
a while. You know, between, you know, uh, a day or two to a year. Um, we have one guy who's been waiting for 13 years. Um, it's looking hopeful, though. It is looking hopeful. Uh, so, we can get them put into that system. Uh, and that is a very hands-off system. We can give you any updates via Sending Stone, uh, should they be needed. Or sometimes you just find a guy and, and you can just put him in the system and we can send you updates or whatever. Actually, we just found a guy. This guy right here, the unconscious one. Oh my goodness, is he okay? Um... Yeah, he was having a little problems out in the woods. Wanted to go follow things he shouldn't. I see, I see. Well, I will take him off your hands for you. Uh, have you any other random men or people that you have found in the wildernesses that you would like to hand in today? Mm. Or are indeed there any lost people that you would like to find or reclaim? Uh. I mean, um, Henry, you wanna yeah. you want us to get you home, or want to take you, the express? Do you have a plan, Luda? You sound hesitant. Oh no! Why right, can they oh. can they t bring you home? I think we should bring Henry home ourselves, just to be sure. Well, we can't take him home directly we, with the teleportation circles being out of service um, but what we can do is take him off of your hands and see if we can find his family members but he would have to remain here oh I'll look at Kendry I can stay with the child if we're waiting for the teleportation circles, anyway. I have an okay? immediate rush to get back to work. Is that okay, Kenry? You stay here? And maybe later on we pick you up and drop you off? Kind of looks up at Briarly, confused. <laughs> looks at the group. Looks at Camellia like, will I die? <laughs> <laughs> she gives a hesitant thumbs up. Sure. And uh, if not, the guy with no marbles can help me out. Okay, wonderful. So we're submitting two. So do any of you have a sending stone? No. Um. Wait. I was handed something to communicate with them. Maybe this one? Ah, wonderful. If you hand that to me, I can attune my sending stone to yours, and we can contact you wherever you may be. All right. And she'll hold it and put it under this kind of uh, <laughs> table tennis shaped paddle of <laughs> slate that glows with runic magic. <sighs> okay, all done. There you go. Wonderful. Um, great. So we will update you with any news about these two friends. Um, and we shall process their uh, information. I will get Alumir to do that when he's finished. Oh, he's finished. Alumir! And he just kind of gestures through the window and Alumir is like, points at his coffee. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Glass holds up a mimes a cup of coffee and tips it upside down and gestures like it's empty <laughs> and Illumir just rolls his eyes <laughs> opens his door <laughs> any goodbyes you might want to do now is the time are we saying goodbye to Kenry for good? potentially I mean unless they immediately find his family he won't be going anywhere for from between a couple of days to potentially 13 years, but, um... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the guy's gonna to... look for his parents. 
I, I don't want to be mean, but maybe we can return three and we keep Kenry. I like him better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, look, you can come and if you if we do not find anyone for the child, or indeed the fully grown unconscious men, um, you can communicate with us, and um, you know, sending stone to the west coast for glass, and I will pick up if I'm not busy, and uh, I can let you know if we're on any hot trails or anything, and you can always come and pick them up at any time. Okay, my my bad. I was under the under. I, I was under. I I thought that they were just gonna watch Kinry while we walk around town. I didn't know it was like we're leaving Kinry here. I don't want to do that. Oh hmm. no no! I I thought you were just gonna watch him for a couple hours. No no no! We'll we'll keep the kid. Come here, kid. I mean, we can babe. We can look after him just for a little bit. And are you gonna say baby? Say what did you say? Sorry. <laughs> were you gonna say babysit? Oh, yes, like, we can, well, it's not technically babysitting. I mean, it takes a good, you know, half a day to put the paperwork through. But we we would still look after them as if we we're going to put the paperwork through. So if you wanted us to do that, it would technically be entering them into the system. But you could take them out again. And you, you wouldn't be saying goodbye forever unless we, like, immediately found... Uh, the child's parents or someone associated with the unconscious grown man. DM, are you trying to make us not have the kid because something dangerous might happen and you don't want to... No, I'm, okay. I'm just giving it as an option that you can drop him off here without any oh, okay. regrets or... You, Ludo, you know, it's not... Ludo will give Kinry a hip bump. Hey. Yeah? You want to stay here in this boring place with this old lady or you want to hang out with these awesome heroes roll a persuasion check at disadvantage for me please what disadvantage <laughs> that doesn't that sounds all right, all right glass all right. will also be rolling at disadvantage <laughs> kenry wants to go his own way but it's like the oh, last, which to, is the lesser of two him? evils he doesn't know he doesn't know if he wants like some chill time where he can fuck with the people looking after him or if he wants to go with people that just fuck around generally. <laughs> but... <I see. laughs> it's a uh, tough decision on With disadvantage point. it is fourteen. Okay. Um now it's up to you, big man. I am fine either way. I'll flex on him. Does he flinch or does he like snarl? Just, just a little snarl, just like ah. Bleh. Yeah, you're coming with us. Come on. <laughs> Fine. Ruffle his hair. You want to stay here with this old lady? What's the matter with you? I don't. I don't know. In the meantime, then I will stay with Colm. See if we can find any information about him while we're here. And once the child is ready to be here, I will make sure we find his parents. Thank you very much. Okay, who's ready for a tour? I am. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, you guys definitely have had a rough travel here. Come on, let's go. Let's celebrate this lovely town of the Vestgus. Um, for, the sake of, for the sake of brevity, um, she will lead you around the town, showing you um, various restaurants and shops that provide all the things a regular town provides, but slightly different and more nilish. Um, nillies. Um, there are also, um, there is a magic shop, but it is currently closed um, due to unforeseen circumstances according to the poster in the door um and she takes you around um the various ponds and other smaller kind of raised um terrains of the town uh, as well as the main <laughs> the three main uh herald establishments in divestcus 
Um, so, within this town, we have three heraldry families. Are you familiar with the heraldry families? Kinda. Mm. Okay, so, each, within Nil, there are families that are more powerful and industrious than the other families. It doesn't necessarily mean they're more important, but they have more influence. So there's one for energy and mining, and one for business, and one for uh, food and beverages, and one for transportation, stuff like that. So within Tevestgus, we have three local heraldry families. Um, we have the Erinsau family, who primarily focus their work in health. And you can find them at this building, which is identical to the one that um, Duskan uh, described to you earlier, with the Duskan logo signatory outside on the flags. Uh, there is also the energy and mining family of Hiteno, um, and you see a very much more rectangular, um, almost dwarvishly constructed building um, kind of towards the centre, uh, southern side of town. Um, and they are mostly uh, dwarves and half-dwarves, which is very interesting because there have been uh, overlaps in the centuries over the kinds of people that run these families because they used to all be drow, but as different people acclimated with the families and such it has varied a lot more which i think has been very good for the for the culture and last but not least we have this building here and you see um this kind of um magnificent tall um almost just like rapunzel-esque tower um with a few more towers sticking adjacent to it um very tall, almost like almost like a mage tower. Um, this is the Deer family, and they are in charge of agriculture, which is why, thankfully, we are uh, blessed with so many beautiful flowers and floras, because they are an expert at bringing in the nature and wild of the wilderness, but without any of the danger. Neat. So I am putting those names in chat. <laughs> the... Any questions about those so far? Or at all as we're going around? Feel but free to a, ask. A lot of really nice stuff in their place. Hmm. Oh, their houses are very nice, I have heard. Oh. I, I have never been in one. Um. Generally... Um, it is, uh, generally it, it is very difficult to get into one of the family houses. Um, if you find yourself in there, you've either done something incredibly right or incredibly wrong or been in the best or worst place at the best or worst time. Um, Which is the drow house? Uh, so... Dear, the, most of the families have had drow in their lineage. Um, in this town, it is primarily the Hiteno family that aren't drow. But they are uh, half drow, half dwarf. Oh, just we got invited to a party, so I was curious as to where their place was. You did? Yeah. yeah. Well, that is crazy. How long have you been in town? Well, like three hours, I think. What? We're really charming. Well, that I can tell, but still. I'm not saying that you are not unbelievably charming to the point of getting an invitation. It is just such... I, I don't think I've ever even met someone who's met someone that's been in one of those houses. Hmm. You should get yourself invited sometime. Oh, sure, it'll be, be cool. a, it'll be a rollicking party, I'm sure. 
So who invited you, if I may ask? Oh, well, that's, that's what I was asking you. Uh, we met a, um, a, a drow gentleman who uh, said that he was having a party. Uh, and to come you, to his house. Did you catch his name? We didn't have time to exchange names. We had just found out that the uh, teleportation was out of order. He did tell you his name. So you can roll. If you don't remember, you can roll history it at was advantage. Just can. Uh, er, Aaron's oh. uh, thou there. Uh, um. Dust can Aaron's how yes that one. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize I was rubbing shoulders with quite such enormous people. Ah oh, yes, the health house. That's right. Wait. So are you? I mean, unless you are of a heraldry yourself. She kind of gives you like a cheeky side eye. All of you a cheeky side eye. No, we right, may kind of have some attachment to the oracle, but shh, don't tell anybody. History check from the girl glass. Ow. <laughs> My dice stabbed me. Not Is in glass somebody's ass. NPC? No. Ah. Glass is mine. Like glass. <laughs> glass is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Only I only only supporters like of the NPCs. coffee I'm get good. glass. <laughs> um, I'll follow up on NPCs. <laughs> I have like 78 NPCs. Um, <laughs> Are you doing the work? No, I'm not. No, my, my note was... Um, Slightly growly Swedish question mark. So oh natural, no, because when I saw the re- <laughs> when I saw the remark, I remember My that you told me that you wanted to you wanted to make a character like that at Bjork some point. Has I was a like, is this it? Like Ace One, and Bjork <laughs> likes to fix computers. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Bjork. <laughs> Thank you, you bless you us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bjork just flies over on us one. The Breakfast Club, they are here. I am so excited for the breakfast. <laughs> um, but yes, I can. There were accidental um, <laughs> crossovers with the accent. Oh, that is. That is very curious. The Oracle. May I? Why ask you've a... heard of them? Yes. What kind of tourist manager would I be if I didn't know who the Oracle family were? <laughs> a terrible one, I'd imagine. Right. I mean, I probably wouldn't get fired, but I would question my own self-worth and uh, professionalism. Professionals. Yeah. So, may I assume that it is your drow friend here that is the oh, hero? Yes. Mm-hmm. So your name is Tarquin Orkak. Uh, let us talk too much about that, okay? No, of course. I just wanted to make sure you were okay because there are many conspiracy theories about your whereabouts and they all kind of spell bad news for you and I wouldn't wish that kind of fate on anybody. Hmm. What have you heard? Sorry, oh. I'm a bit of a gossip. Oh, no, that is fine. Well, you didn't hear any of this from me. Mm-mm. But... I, and she's kind of, uh, they're still kind of leading you through town as um, they're going through all of these. Um, so there's one that is like, uh, the Oracle heraldry actually um, died out in a, in a fishing accident and it was like super embarrassing. And when they found the crime scene uh, for their investigation, it was so embarrassing. They were like, we cannot fully report on the details of this because no herald should be seen in such a foul and unspeakable light. Um, many have theorized something about the insertion of the fishing hook and um, an accidental uh, rectum injury, but we can't really know for sure. 
Um, some have theorized that they just vanished one day and just never made it out of the wilderness. And some people think that there was an illicit affair between the Orichalcs and um, like a troll or an ogre or a giant or something. Um, and of course, an affair of that nature would be rather damaging to the interior bodily autonomy of, of the person. Um, some people think a horse was involved. It, it's quite a quite a rabbit hole of of um. The, well, there was also that one theory with the rabbit hole, <laughs> but. Um, have you ever oh. thought about what it feels like to have a rabbit dig up inside your inside? Pretty crazy. I, 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 I don't want to talk about the things I've seen. It can go pretty fast. What have you seen? Mm. Have you it seen wasn't a rabbit. rabbit. It, was a, it was a raccoon. Well, it was not me, let me tell you that much. Oh, no, 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 no. But, I mean, you know, you, you guys can fit in some very small spaces. Well, it's like four inches, so... About you know. that, from what I've heard. Yeah. Man, the kind of things that people will come up with <laughs> when they don't have the information. Yeah, you think somebody would just ask... Or, yeah. No, no. I, you can uh, refer to him as Riordan in public. It is, that's, that's, that's the name the closest to him. Um, call him is, we just call him uh, Riordan T. Uh, Oracle. Oh, so uh, he's a distant cousin of the family. Uh, we've been away for quite a while. And we just thought to visit, but they're missing, you say. How long have they been missing? Well, it would be quite the coincidence if they had found themselves all lost and missing and or presumed dead and or buried into by a rabbit or other kind of rodent or indeed fishing hook. And then mm -hmm. you all just happened to come along as the Oracalc were needing or potentially without a herald. Mm. And if you're part of the family... Well, well, we got no word of this whatsoever. An uncle, though. Well, a cousin. That is odd indeed. That means that... your mother or father had an affair. Hmm. The plot thickens. Ah, uh, very much so. I am sorry to hear of your parents. Uh, in, in um, oh, what is that word? In um, that I can't remember. I'm sorry that your parents were dirty, rotten cheaters. That is unfortunate. Thanks to Tarquin. <laughs> Well, uh, it's a big uh, and terrible story, so don't worry. I would love to hear it sometime. Huh? Let me know what it costs. I can get alcohol or anything else, my lord, that you might need. Uh, no, 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 don't worry. I don't want to speak about my parents. Are they... She kind of like tilts her head to the side, like an egg's been cracked. I don't want to speak about my parents. Immediately asks a question about <laughs> the parents. <laughs> Look, glass is lovely, but it doesn't mean that they're, they're perfect. <laughs> no, so are, are they like, what? Or are they. No, they're pretty much that. So don't oh, worry. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. I, I figured I'd better check. Um, so as not to speak of them too fondly or poorly as to uh, disrespect the, um, you know, so. 
No worries. Okay, wonderful. Well, is there anything in town you are specifically looking for? Like um, if you have any food allergies or if there is a particular need in the genitalia area that you are looking to experience some frivolities in? Or um, a clothing shop potentially for getting all dressed up for a potential party meeting with other heralds? Yes? I think a shop would be nice to offload and purchase some things, yes. There aren't any mind flayers around here, right? That's a hmm. good question. I think there was a theory that the Orcalks were also turned into mind flayers. Mm. Which would suggest the presence of mind flayers. Hmm. I don't know. It would suck if there were some, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you'll say that like you have faced Mind Flayers. Imagine that. <laughs> hey, when you gave us 50 gold, is that 50 gold each or 50 gold total? That is in total. Okay. I am not, you know, you have seen our stand. We're not made of money. I made all of those stamps myself. We do not have that in the budget to be affording for customized, specific stationery just for the West Coast branch of the Adventurers Guild of the Worlds and Realms. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have a staff badge. Yeah. It is a point of much despair. I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand check. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> 18 plus 4, 22. I have uh, crafted a a little gold star. Ooh. It's not exactly like a sheriff's badge, but it, it's <gasps> it's better than an employee badge. Does it have that written on it? Just like guild employee? Yeah. And, and there's a little cute little raccoon face on it. Oh my goodness, I did not know that you two were a guild employee. You must be having your hands full with both a herald and also running a raccoon. A raccoon? It's unofficial. I would are say there raccoon? is only one member. Oh. And it's you. Wait, what? Me? But no, but I have the guild here. It's just for you. It's just for show. It's an accessory. You know. Look great shiny? with your outfit. Yeah. Did, it's for me? Would you want it? Oh, they take it in their little tiny raccoon head. Okay. <laughs> and just stare I'm sure. at it. <laughs> just shift it slightly so that they can see their big eye reflection in it. Oh, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Or at least in the top 200 on my list. Big list. Oh, there are many things of beauty. Besides, this you all place true. on the list. She looks looks back down at the badge. Ah, oh, what a lovely gift. Thank you. I will put it on, and if anyone questions its legitimacy, I will take it off and sneak it back on at my nearest convenience. <laughs> I say that like I have a manager here. I don't really. Ah, uh, to you then. Welcome. Oh, so you're looking for a a, a, sh a clothing shop or a general store? A little of both. A general store with a clothing brand? That works. Okay, wonderful. Well, there is this really nice place over by the pond. It is um, it is called The Pond. <laughs> Very imaginative title. And um, do you want me to wait here for you? Or I can return back to the, to the, uh, to the lobby. If you need anything, you can come and get me. 
I'm sure we could take care of it. Come and get me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good impression of my of my voice. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope to see you again. Please do, at least before you leave. I know there is no leaving right now, which is a, a moment of despair. But if you do, and when you can, please do be sure to uh, come and say goodbye. Okay. We indeed shall. Okay, see ya. And puddles off. <laughs> And starts charging off on all fours back towards the the mayoral building. And you find yourself outside of this little, um, just single floor, very simple building um, with a wooden carved, uh, just pretty much just a slice of tree log that hasn't been fully treated, um, but has been lovingly carved with the pond. Um, Okay, so do that thing where, like, the family goes to the mall, and everyone's like, all right, everybody meet back here in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really small store, so you can all, like, see each other at all times. Oh, I figured we were, like, in, like, a general <laughs> shopping area. It is, it, it's, it's, um, oh, it's, no, it's just a singular store, like, it's just one, one shop that, um, Glass has taken you to. Oh, okay. Um, is there so like a, of... other stores outside? Um, they Who took knows? you past other bigger stores and stuff. Um, this one you see does have a little clothing area, um, specifically designated, but it's it's not a huge it's not a huge store at all. Okay. But it is cozy. I'm uh I'm gonna take the kid. We're gonna go buy groceries. Uh, see you guys back here in about an hour. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, I feel like I've been taken by dad. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, who, anyone else wants to go into the pond or look for a different shop? Anything at all? Anybody needs to take care of anything, do so. I'm just going to offload some stuff and I guess get something for the party. Mm. Oh, I'd like to grab my share of the 50. I'm going to use that to buy groceries. Hell yeah. That is, if, if we're not giving any to the child, um, that is 10 gold each. There's four of us, right? So like 12 each and then maybe two for the kid to go buy candies or whatever. I don't know, iPads. And, what kids and Small can go fuck herself? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had to ask like that. I, I heard a really good talk about um, the philosophy of going and fucking yourself the other week, <laughs> actually. Could you Great do talk. nine Great talk. each and then five for the kid? Sure. Okay. Sweet. I'm gonna buy drugs. Alright, I'll show you where to get good drugs. <laughs> Not gonna be he's good gonna, he's gonna do an insight check. <laughs> Ludo's not lying. <laughs> oh, shit. Do I drug kid? Drugs kid? I'll tell no. you drugs. Testing to see if you genuinely care. No, no, I, no, I was, I was kidding. I, was, I know. I was kidding. I'm a good but You weren't. You weren't kidding, no. though. Yeah. You were gonna. I'm not your dad, kid. I'll fuck you up. Let's go. Okay. What the fuck's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> hey, see? Wait. I like this guy. We should keep him. <laughs> it's, it's not ours, but we'll ask his parents. I wouldn't mind having a wolf on the team. I think after all this, they won't let us keep him. We do need somebody to trigger traps. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, well, we don't want to lose too many brain cells while we're doing it, so you should probably go instead of me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 okay, so, 
Um, for right now, we'll we'll follow Ludo and see what um, him and the boy are doing. Um, Give me a can... boy or a girl. I keep getting that messed up. Boy. Okay. I kept calling Tommy... her. Tommy. Tommy was a girl. Tommy was a girl. That's what it is. Kinry's a boy. <laughs> this whole time I thought it was Tommy that we were talking to. <laughs> like, the character <laughs> background and history. You were just about to be like, yeah, sorry about your sister, by the way. That yeah, really fucking I sucks. Your sister died and you turned into a werewolf. What was the story? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. <laughs> okay, so... Um, you go you go into the pond to find some groceries because they have some groceries there, or you look for oh, a dedicated I... grocery shop. As a really good grocery store name, <laughs> uh, it is. But also, it's probably like a pricey. It's like a whole like a Whole Foods would be called the pond. You that know, is true. You, you... I'm trying to find like you a do. Rayleigh's, <laughs> like a Sam's um, Mart. You. Uh, roll an investigation check for shits and giggles. Why not? All right, and I have the kid roll too. Okay, <laughs> I'll roll for. Kid. Uh, key. Do we sell at cost or reduced cost or whatever? I'm just gonna take um, care of this while they're doing their thing. They do have some stuff I have to offload. That is a good nice. question. Uh, roll a persuasion check, actually, be fun. Okay. My phone. Ooh. Damn, twenty plus your brain cells. Just um, one. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> GG's. Um, you sell at um oh god, I, I don't wanna do percentages. So um calculate the total of the stuff you wanna sell and mm -hmm. then add ten percent money add on top 10%? of that. Yeah, so if if the total is like sixty 45. gold They gonna give me more money? <laughs> yeah, because you rolled a high oh, persuasion. Okay. Yeah. Take so it. yeah, so you, <laughs> so if it's sixty gold, you add another six gold to it, etc. Mm -hmm. oh, I think that's there. Um. So um. I'm not arguing. <laughs> with, with a twenty, you find. You find. The dream shop, that nice. um that uh ludo would be looking for here um you find um a taste of the oh jesus i've forgotten the names of them there the isles that you're from <laughs> the chili it's not the chili isles it's this something what, like is it. no you're right it's the chili isles <laughs> no it's not the yeah, chili don't you shut the fuck up ludo of the chill chill isles <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. No. Um, Chenny Isles. Mm -hmm. You find a shop. Fuck you. Called the t a Taste of the Chenny Isles. Um. And uh, as you go in, it is all the foods, smells, and flavors from home. There is a slight tacky, at least to the outside onlooker, there is a slight tacky theming to the decor he of the grocery it. store. He He's it. dedicated. <laughs> this is a church for him. <laughs> <laughs> technically, it did, te it did technically used to be a church for him, uh, being a cleric of food. Um, <laughs> so um, you find everything uh, you want and love from home uh, in this place. Um, you see... <laughs> You see, um, at the counter, um, a drow with, um, with a similar hat and nice. kind of the, the beach decor, the beach outfit, uh, of the Chenny Isles, traditional place. beach outfit, and, um, they are, they just want death, they want the sweet release of death, <laughs> they're just standing there with these big pigtails and, like, someone's tried to do a suntan on a drow and it's like that doesn't that isn't a thing um oh, <laughs> he gives him that, his national greeting of home yeah it reciprocates the the receiving uh with a poor pronunciation 
Oh, it's very good here. Oh my god. Okay, look. Henry, you see this? Very smelly fruit. On the inside, though, tastes like uh, vanilla, like a, like a cream. Very delicious. Oh, oh see, oh, see this? Mango. You ever have mango? Oh my god, we'll put that, we'll put that. And he's putting everything in his cart, and he's making a big old scene. And he's teaching him how to knock on watermelons, and he's just like teaching Kinry all the different tricks of how to get the best, how to pick out the best uh, produce, best meats, everything. He's stocking up uh, the fridge and uh, making sure Kinry knows, uh, like teaching Kinry the ups and downs and all the tricks to get the best stuff. Do they, do they do they just have like river trout, like plain river trout? Yeah, they got that probably. Oh, uh, tilapia. Oh, very good. That lives in the river. Yeah, it, it's like too colorful though. Yeah, all the colors means better flavors. You probably just eat like water with maybe a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna teach you how to eat right. Really dubious, stanky face. <laughs> Ludo's gonna spend uh, his share fully stocking up the fridge and also. Nice. Uh, fully stocking the fridge? Hang on. That's a, that's a lot of food. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang, on. Hang on. How much can <laughs> Bag of whole <laughs> Isn't I mean, when's the next time we're gonna find a freaking Chenny and a Chili Willy restaurant, a supermarket like this? They can hold up to 500 pounds. I'll buy it. How much can I afford? Oh my god. Um. Oh Jesus. Okay, please hold for maths. <laughs> I'll barter with them. I've got a, I've got chain mail. I'm not using anymore. I'll tr I'll trade that in too. So five hundred pounds. Imagine going to a okay. Trader Joe's and like trying to pay with chain mail. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll you know. Okay. I'll, 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 on. I'll only buy a reasonable amount. Like if if I know it's gonna go bad, I wouldn't. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> um, the fridge s slows the going bad process, and they, they, there is a thing. Um, hang on. So if that uh, cost. Rashes. Want to go back to monkey? Fine. <laughs> okay. So five. <laughs> it's not so fifty. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised how easy this math is. Like, honestly. <laughs> come on, come on. It's D &D. Please be a maths converter. Um. Okay. Wow. Really. That's not as bad as I thought. That's what I'm saying. Um, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you take your baskets over to um to the counter, and they're just there. They hold the runic tablet over it that scans everything. <laughs> nice. Um. Beep. 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 <sighs> Tell the kid to bag it. That'll be. 125 gold, please. Okay. Here is this. I'll hand him nine gold. And here <laughs> is this. I'll hand him uh, chain mail. How much for that? Uh, we, we, we don't do a trading of materials. That uh, chain money. mail was worn by the hero of the great hunt i don't know if you heard about that who is that uh it's this amazing hero goes by ludo bayani maybe one day per luck you'll get to meet him are you ludo bayani i am pleasure to meet you <sighs> look look it's clean i'll press the digitation right in front of him wow how brand new wow how how much is the chain mail worth 75 <laughs> I've got extra in case, but we'll see how much we roll, got. So roll, roll a, roll a persuasion check. All right, just a flat one. I'll, this kid I'm gonna use care my, that much. I'm gonna use my advantage, uh, my inspiration if this goes poorly. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, 
Okay, I'll use the inspiration. <laughs> Go, ship. All right, twelve. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, I can give you, I can give you forty for it. Okay. So we got forty-nine. How much you said? One hundred twenty-five. 4925. Probably give you what, like 50 more? We're good? No. What is it? Um, it's 125. And if you would like extra preservation on your foods, that's extra. Okay. How much with, uh, with all that? Um. <laughs> Does some magic on the runic tablet. Uh, that would be a special deal because you've brought over a hundred gold worth of goods, so that would only be an additional ten gold. So one thirty-five, and then I give you the armor and the nine gold. It's pretty much it, mm. right? So the gold and the armor comes to forty-nine. Uh huh. So you still need. <sighs> Don't be like this. AD. Don't be like this man. It's an embarrassment of a man. You still need 80 There's something. no passion in his heart. You have that passion in your heart. You listen to me? 80. Uh, 80 gold? Is that right? Sure. If you give me another 80 gold, I'll just process it. Uh, okay, here. I slump the chainmail down and I fork over 80 more gold. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm down to 15. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Would you like a bag? Did I do like a visible damage to his shelves? Uh, no, the emotional damage is real though. No, I mean, like, is there, like, a big chunk missing from, like, their stock? Oh. Um, surprisingly, no. Nice. Like, some bits are a bit empty, but it's not crazy empty. Oh, what was the question? Do I like a bag? Would you like a bag for No, for I'm just your... shove it in here, please. Foom. <sighs> And then they'll right. go and right. reluctantly help. Just keep. This just keeps going forever. Yeah, you just put it in there. Okay. <laughs> and after like ten minutes, <laughs> um, you have your. <laughs> you have your two hundred and fifty rations, which. Um, effectively, mm -hmm. um, is enough food every day for a year for a person. There or thereabouts. The food if you're every if you're scrimping for a year for a person, <laughs> or if you cook for more people, then you know we'll wiggle it. But yeah, you're pretty much set on food unless there's some weird timey wimey shit but that probably won't happen so we can we can assume you're set unless something happens to the food inside the fridge delightful but you have 250 ingredients in there <laughs> incredible that's fucking nuts <laughs> that's stupid all right we cut back to beef on how much did you sell find a little kind of curios and um, uh, trade shop that is willing to take some stuff. Ooh, I was just offloading a few things. I had a couple of things that I don't use and a couple mm -hmm. of things I picked up. Um, so, like about, what was that? About 50? Nice! 50 extra gold. Oh yeah. <laughs> some random shields and longbows and stuff on me. Nice, nice. And any random bits of jewelry that we just insta-convert to mine because it's far easier. 
All right, mm -hmm. Tarkin and Camellia. What would you guys like to get up to? I don't know. I guess uh, my part would be to to wait for the whole <laughs> surgery thing. Oh if shit! You will. Oh yes, yes. Mm. You can go to um, find... the health the health guy's house. Um, yeah. It's early for dinner, but he didn't Im effectively invite you all in. Health arm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to make a room Where for uh, some... the groceries. Your arm is in a grocery <laughs> store. Yeah. The, the, uh, you would either have to manually be holding some of the the ingredients or give them to Kinry to <laughs> bear have the weight Kinry off. Hold the arm. <laughs> like... Or have or have Kinry hold the arm. Be playing catch with the arm of Kinry. <laughs> Just hold okay. it in his mouth like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to go? We still have our clothes from uh, from the uh, opera. Yes. Oh. Unless you sold oh. them. Nope. Um. So do you want to go find a health expert, Tarkin? Um. Yeah. I, I mean, but aren't we supposed to wait until night for that? Yeah, you can. It's like you can have a scope out of the area, see if there's any other options, or you can go at night. Uh, I think we, I'll, I'll just wait uh, until we, we're doing the whole okay. thing together. <laughs> kind of like the tour guide leader with the umbrella, so everyone can find you after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And okay, and Camelia, what are you getting up to? Uh, I don't really have anything for her to do, so she's probably just enjoying her new mini sun. Yay. Mm -hmm. There's just a little moat of light above you that's just kind of... Give, it's like a, a lamppost at night, just like that little cone of of light, of relief from the darkness. And you do feel pretty much back to regular standing now. Nice. So you and Tarquin have some time alone, should you wish to talk about anything. Or if not, we can proceed with events and stuff. It is up to you. Uh, so, Camilla, do you want to learn how to make a handstand? I can do it with only one arm. Sure. <laughs> All right. Can I roll for acrobatics? Absolutely. <laughs> add a, add a, a, yeah, no, probably just straight, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't have advantage with one arm, so I get it. <laughs> still still getting used to the one arm thing. But it won't always prove an issue. Oh shit, that's a twenty-five. Nice. Oh, God damn. Um one finger. weirdly weirdly doing it on one arm is kinda easier because you only have it's it's a lot more obvious where the point of balance is gonna be. <laughs> so you can just focus in that direction and it's very, very clean. And fancy handstand. Camellia, you are impressed by the handstand. This is what D&D is about. She applauds. <laughs> when he uh, also give, it applauds. A try. give it a try. Come on. It's easy. Uh, sure. Uh... <laughs> Camellia, Camellia. I wanted it to be a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 19. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you do? Do you also do a one-armed handstand? She'll do a uh, two hands and then carefully like change it to one hand. Me like, is Hell this yeah. good? Oh, that is just perfect. Great. I am an amazing teacher. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Tomorrow we can try the backflip if you want. Heck yeah. And that is our group activity. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Um, as as you're um, hand, kind of enjoying handstand um, chat, uh, Small comes back. Uh, hey guys. 
Oh, you, you're both like glowing, you're, like radiant. You're. Is everything okay? Yes, of course. I'm just feeling better now. Check. <laughs> She's gonna roll an inside check. Oh! <laughs> Incredible. Oh She's canonically such a bad roller. It's what, funny. It, what single digit, please? <laughs> three. Um, Yo. So. They say three's company. Um, so she'll kind of look at the two of you and be like. Oh, it's just you, you know, you both look so, like, happy and radiant and... Oh. I can... You know, I'll leave. I can... I'm gonna go find some plants. Y you don't want to try to do a hand fan too? No, I'm good. And she's already, like, walking away and she just... <laughs> <laughs> she kind of goes further to to the other end of the pond and is kind of just, like, looking at the flowers and then occasionally just, like, very obviously looks at the two of you to see if you're doing anything else. I mean, to be fair, uh, her arms are a little short, so, yeah, I don't think she can manage that. Kirkwin. What? Um, it is at this time, I believe, uh, Bifon would probably return first, after selling some goodies. You guys are glowing. What's that all about? <laughs> you we were just training. Us? What? You want a handstand with us, Bifon? Come on, Bifon, you can do it. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. No. Ah. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. It's the handstand club. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It was rushing to my sideburns. Another it's exhilarating. Incredible. Another incredible handstand. Um, Small comes back over after, after the handstands. Um, I decided to go buy some more potion ingredients in the... Hi, Bifon! Hi, Small! You're glowing! Wanna do handstands? Ray, Radiant. No, I'm good, thank you. I'm just gonna go and look at these flowers over here. And she <laughs> goes back over to the side of the pond. Just like, the fuck is going on? Um... <laughs> <laughs> and Ludo and Kinry, as you're making your way back, um, you hear a little Shut up. Ludo! Hmm? Oh, you're small. Come over here. Come over here. Okay. Shh, be quiet. Be quiet. Sure. It's okay, okay, Sneaky. okay. Hey, so, um... Hey. Um, I don't know how to bring this up. Yeah. Um, and it's it's not gossip or anything. And I'm not trying to break the group apart. I'm really, really not trying to break the group apart. I just uh, want to um address something that I have witnessed. Um, are 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 the others a throuple? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You you picked that up. You you realized that. Well, cause I went. Over there, and Tarquin and Camellia were glowing. Yeah. Like, and and I looked and I was like, why are why are they glowing? Like, it Probably make... sex. <gasps> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, probably. I just like that, my that, like, See, that why do you think smooches. I wanted to leave? Why do you think I took the kid, right? <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Well, but you know what happened then? What? I went, I went away, and then I was like, oh, I needed to buy some more potion stuff, right? And then, uh -huh. I, and then I, came, mm -hmm. I came back. Uh-huh. And, and Bifon was there. Oh, yeah, he's like the ringleader. And he, <clears throat> he was really glowing, too. You know, there's, uh, there's, there's top, there's bottom, power bottom, you know that? No. I don't know how he does it, he's both. Or like a piggyback? Power, power bottom and power top, same time. <gasps> Do people piggyback sex? 
Yeah, it's it's that's their favorite actually. They like to do a piggyback sex is their favorite. That's why you know Camellia's horns, you know. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Keeps covering her mouth. I know. It's it's a shame. And then, you know, I have to take the kid away just so they can do it. And that's why they're probably, as soon as we left, probably, immediately. They're, they're, they're just in the middle of town. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're like. <gasps> I mean, I, I admire their level of love for each other. We're, that's we're, really commendable, but... See, I mean... we're called the Breakfast Club because I like to cook breakfast, but they... They all... They didn't really get to know each other's names until breakfast, you know, that's why... I don't understand. They had sex at night, but they didn't even know their names until the morning. They're like, oh, what is your name, actually? That's when <gasps> they... Yeah. And you joined them? No, 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 no. I just... I'm, I'm kind of their cook, you know? And I make sure the kid is okay, but... There all the time. All the time. Wow. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. It's really... I don't... I don't know about that. They... they you, you seem much more to them than just that. Yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, I guess kind of like their, uh, their mentor, you know, because I'm the smartest and probably the strongest of all of them, so they probably look up to me. I never thought about it like that. Yeah, it makes sense, right? I mean, look at me. Come on. But yeah, anyway, yeah. you know, they don't like to talk about it. It's kind of a secret, but if you're going to hang out with us for a while, probably important, you know that. Why? Well, because... Why? You know, sometimes you're gonna, they're gonna be like, hey, you wanna come over here, do this thing, and then they have some kind of secret code name for, you know, like that. For clapping? Uh, it's not their hands that are clapping. Their hearts? Because they're so infatuated with each other? Kenry, close ears. Close ears, Kenry. Okay. He does nothing. <laughs> Just keeps talking. <dying. laughs> <laughs> they, put, they put the pini in the bajini. Okay? They put the dot dot in the poop poop. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like that. She kind of looks over to the, the the other three in the group. Um, you can all. I'm see gonna this. wave at her like you, this so you innocently. Can't, like, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> can't. You can't hear this conversation, but you can fully fucking see it happening. Amelia still has one arm handstand waving with the other arm. Like, hey guys. Luna's like waving her over to do more. Luna's Come on, like join us. Pointing at them and then doing the finger in the whole thing. So <laughs> all, all the time they're like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna be hanging out, you know, they're gonna keep asking you, and uh, you know, very persuasive. Maybe eventually you'll say yes. Just keep an eye out. Be ready, you know. Stay limber, lubricated, lubricated. Well, 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 but, but, but I'm scared. They're very sudden when they want to do it. It's very like, oh my I god. Mean... They're, they're all lovely people, and, and they're yeah. all very attractive, yeah, and, and, and yeah, very attractive, I, I appreciate nice. them a lot as, as friends and companions, mm -hmm. but I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm, like, ready for that. Well, maybe, you know, one day, soon. Like, probably, I'm, I'm not probably, as... probably, probably, uh, to be honest with you, they'll probably ask you tonight, so just be careful, okay? It's okay, you're gonna be okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. No, 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 You've no, 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 no. been standing here too long. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm but I'm okay, but like, I've, I've slain giants and stuff, but like, I'm nowhere near as heroic as the rest of the group. Okay, well, don't just, uh. Just have to be in that trouble? Just. The, you do, though. Okay, okay, the secret word, if you don't, the secret safe word, I'll tell you, if you don't want anything, is. Uh -huh. Camellia. Smell okay. my feet. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, you don't want to know the secret word. You apparently you know everything already. So. Uh, no, 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 no. That's all. No, no, no. Mm. You say, Camellia, smell my feet, and then she'll be like... That's why you've Don't. said it so much. Yeah, because, you know... She it's... packs off instantaneously. She knows. Exactly. See, I'm glad that Wait. you know this. You're very but smart, Camilla... Smalley. You know, very smart. But, but, but thank you. But, but I mean... 
Her mom, like maybe his mom has been on the team about as long as I have. You know, Lumi? I, you know. Ah. There's uh, some things you maybe don't want to know, you know. Very strong lady, Briarly, you know, very strong. <sighs> Just imagine what she can do to Tarquin, my god. I'm not You're gonna, gonna be okay. You're gonna that. be okay. Just remember the safe word if ever it gets too much, and then. Amelia, smell my smell with those feet. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm fine ready. Too. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and they they all come over. Uh, Kinry's just got this shit eaten grin on his face <laughs> as uh, they come back over. I like give him like a little. You know, rough off the hair is like, don't tell your parents I said that. I'll tell them everything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but the group is once again reunited. Guys, look. And I'll uh, open up my fridge and like show Can it off to them. Can you those feet? <laughs> what? Jeez, Can Camellia, we... can you calm down just for a little bit? Camellia, <sighs> smell, smell with those feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? She knows about your uh, proclivities, your tendencies. Well, I, there's, there's no judgment. I just, I, you know, you guys all make a really adorable throuple. I just don't want any involvement in it. I'm sorry, people. I have to say something. Uh, Tarkin, I had to say something, and Camellia, I had to say something, and, 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 and Lugo was trying to talk me through it, but I don't know if I can be chill about it or not at all. What? Got so I many know. groceries. Look at this. I got bananas in there. There's mangoes in there. <laughs> Did you give her one of the cupcakes or something? There are cupcakes. Uh, there were cupcakes. I can make cupcakes. Small, yeah. whatever Ludo told you is probably not true. No. There is no safe word! What? Oh, come on! I just... <laughs> Kenry, what did I tell her? Did I tell her anything? He told her so many lies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smiles up at you, Ludo. <laughs> just... <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I told well, her the well, three of you are packing. Well, because I came over and you and you looked so happy and refreshed, and I thought maybe you just like hugged or smooched or something. Maybe you were all feeling cute on each other and stuff. And then Lulu was telling me these stories. What? <sighs> but I suppose. Well, it's dad... because we had just finished fucking. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> but there's no safe word. He's a big liar. Yeah. Everybody all the time. Me too. You're just next. Staring at the f staring distantly at the floor, just <laughs> trying to process. Welcome to the this. breakfast club. Hey, Small, would you like to learn how to do a handstand? That's what we call mm. it. I'm just, I'm just gonna. She goes back over to the spot that she's been camping at by the pond, <laughs> <laughs> and just rocks gently in as she sits on the floor. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Okay, don't be a stranger. <laughs> and Luda that just turns back to y'all. So party time. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we will leave hey, today's hey. episode. Oh my fucking god. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The oh, turnaround at the end. Poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Traumatized. 
<laughs> GG. I think the real victim here is Kenry. <laughs> no, he's fine. There, he's he's loving picking it. up so many horrible things. Like he's gonna go back with like the worst habits. He's like, look, it takes a village to raise a family. The village that raised him tried to kill him and also, you know, made kind of half made him a werewolf and shit. Like, <laughs> this, this is this is a field day in comparison, you know, <laughs> like the threat of starvation, and family. I feel dying like and that stuff. would be your actual child. <laughs> Henry okay. seems just as down for the bullshit as you are. Well, my, my daughter is absolutely down for all the bullshit, and they, yes. are, they act very similar to how Henry acts. Yeah. Uh, quick, quick, quick story. Quick story. Nice. So, um, yes. Go for uh, it. living with my friend, a uh, essentially a kid. That when they moved in, they were like seventeen. They moved in. They were a foreign exchange student. They were staying with at my homie spot. I was staying there too. And I treated the kid basically like I'm treating Kinry now, just like constant, uh, constant, just kind of like horror, teaching him all like the worst habits, just like, you know, fucking around, just joking, just good times like Kinry. <laughs> and everything was cool. And then it was uh, Thanksgiving. And I was like, oh, you're here from China. You don't have anywhere to stay. Come with me and my family. You can come to my family for Thanksgiving. It'll be great. Aww. So they come. It's nice, everybody. This is foreign exchange student. They're super nice and introducing <laughs> everybody. And then, uh, it was like around the time where everybody was getting ready for the the prayer right before we were all going to eat. <laughs> uh, and um, so everybody's gathered up in the kitchen. Oh, no. And I was like, where's the kid? Where's the kid? I look across the room and he's there between in between him and me are all of my family members. And he says, hey, JC. I'm like, yeah. And he like flips me off. He says, hey, fuck you. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. Like, you, you know, okay, the way, the way we hang out at the house, that's like, that's for the house, right? Like, you no, don't that's do that in front of people, right? Perfect. Like, it's different. Yeah, so I'm pretty Best sure. Best Thanksgiving ever. <laughs> <laughs> Holy I'm shit. Like, oh, JC, what's that? Why he do that? And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, he just, he's, he, I don't know where he learns it from. It's crazy. It must be from China. He's just like, oh god, is everything okay? <laughs> What did basically, I do? Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I feel In like that's the best. <laughs> just like diffuse the tension at a family Thanksgiving. Just start by fucking flipping someone off. I like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're we're having this person for Thanksgiving this this year. Hey, hey. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That should, that should be tradition now. That should absolutely be a tradition. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll oh, do it this no, Thanksgiving. No, that's at the house. At the house we do that. Not like it for the family. Oh my god. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, Grandma. It's it's a it's a, Chi it's a Chinese gesture. It means friendship. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Oh shit. That was great. That was, that was great. the best. Good session. That was nice. Yeah. Mm. So interesting. Camellia is no longer dying. Voyage. That's nice. Yeah, I got yeah. Now we just need to something. make Tarquin whole, and we're pretty, we're <laughs> almost we're almost back to good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh no! And then we're gonna go to a little drow party. Yeah, yeah. Trust, trust you guys to get into like the most difficult to get into fucking party. We go to some pretty baller parties. Being. We go to like a baller ass mm -hmm. party and you know, we went to go have dinner with the king and queen. Like we're pretty freaking oh, dope. Oh, I explicitly made it difficult for you to get in with the with the uh, heralds, and you were just like immediately just like, all right, move aside. I have this ring. <laughs> Bam. And and the funniest thing is because things got so tense and fraught. Which initially would like potentially lead to bad times and maybe jail. Um, it was just enough of like a fire starter that it actually got the attention of the one person you fucking needed the attention from. <laughs> because hmm. his servant was like so incandescent with rage and rolled a one. Like if oh. the if the servant ha hadn't rolled really low and you hadn't rolled really high on your intimidation, um he would have kept his shit together and and it would have been like deal with it you know he would have kept his composure but he didn't keep his composure and it was only because he fucking fucked up there that the the um 
uh, just Khan was like, um, hand in your res resignation, please, thank you. <laughs> um, sorry about him. Did you say Oracle? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there is a world where you didn't get that ring, so. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing good at getting into them parties. I had like a whole B plan just in case <laughs> y'all can get in. I was like, well, it's because we're so cool. Mm hmm. But it just, so it cool. Just so I got happens. a guy fired. Sweet. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't get him fired. He, he resigned he... of his own free will. Yeah. <laughs> he could have stayed in the position, but he would have had to live with his boss's just unending disappointment. And what kind of life is that? He's like, no, I can just go and farm. That's okay. I'll go be a crypto bro. I don't need to live miserably for the rest of my existence. <laughs> oh, but GG! The plot, the plot is interesting. How are you guys feeling about the story so far? I'm just thinking of that secret service leader. <laughs> it was like, nah. Assassination attempt? Nah, I'm not leaving. It's my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. It was fun. It was very fun. I'm just Yay. I'm glad to be out of the forest. Yes. No, yeah. that that was and un unless the role that um that Rubes did went real bad, you would have made it to at least Tavescus today. Who Hi Blue Butt Cheeks, that's a great name. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh, there's blue bachi. Sweet. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Would you, would you like to join the thruple? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, man, if 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 small isn't rolling double digits, she is fully thinking that a little smooch has happened. And she would, you know, she would go and seek counsel. And the fact that it was from Luto is, you know, perfect. A the lesson best, that the she best won't learn. To ask. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Best person to ask. <laughs> she she has too much faith in people. Um, and Just we also the have... immediate yes. <laughs> yes, that is what they're doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just yeah, no, no exactly. hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> no, no breath was brought. No. Nope. It was just immediate. Yeah. In that moment, I knew my calling. <laughs> mm -hmm. No respect the, whole, less. the entire campaign led up to this. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did see in the chat just something like it's not D and D unless there's vague mention of <laughs> molecule. Mm. And it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but yeah. You must be in a handstand. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it always starts. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. It was just such phenomenal handstands. I was like, that deserves a fun narrative moment. <laughs> oh, jeez. And we had glass. Oh, my glass. Baby. Mm. I love glass so much. Mm. Because, you know, I heard the complaints about all the annoying characters. And Collection I was like... Of stamps. Yeah. Aww. That that just... That just happened. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> it, it's a nice... It's well. a nice mix. Uh, it, for, for every Jing Zhong, we need to get um, that cute kid from the play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Aww. The fun story is, we do um, we do have someone that redeemed a character, and they may or may not be uh, somewhere currently looking after the Osprey Orphan Theatric Society Ooh. as a bodyguard. So. We might might well find them. <laughs> they are out there in the world. <laughs> we have. It's we not have the frustrating them. characters. You're really good at them. I know. <laughs> I had to roll I a damn twenty. <laughs> I I I have been reported that, but I also get told that I have really really sweet sweet little characters too. Yeah. 
sometimes, but the annoying ones seem to override them quite considerably, <laughs> which I nah, understand. Nah, glass was great. Uh, I was just looking for a drow picture, and then I just I just looked over at Twitter, and there was a raccoon, and I was like, oh, I know what it is I must do. <laughs> Yay. And next time, we're going to have to learn all the names of all <laughs> the heralds. That's going to okay. be fun. Holy moly. And they're gonna ask a lot of questions, so that'd be fun. That'd be fun, ha <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes, and the session itself was under four hours. We did Whee! it! Yeah. Yay! Finally! Sorry, I tried Ooh, really hard. Say it. Bye -bye. Oh, no, I saw your sketch of Alamy. Yeah, it's not very good. I looked at it the morning after and just went, ugh, but someone had already, already reacted to it, so I was like, I can't, I can't delete it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh my god. Yes, thank you to Scorpio <laughs> for posting all the links. We will hopefully thank have you a Valfius back soon. Mod oh love. my god. I cannot Mod wait. Mod love. love. Scorpio's so cool. We will, and yes, you can check out everybody's channels we've also got katie uh -huh. hey uh, happy belated birthday katie and happy. avia for our lovely emotes and the stuff and the discord and the giveaway for you know again you can just clip this bit and be like i like the bit where key said katie's name right and send that in, and then you're entered into the giveaway. So, you can do that. That's fine, you're allowed. Um, and you should absolutely, as well, go and check out the whole Breakfast Club gang IRL. Mm -hmm. um, not, don't follow them IRL. Uh, follow them on socials. Um, <laughs> follow the players on their socials. Um, and support them as and where you can. But even you guys just being here and with the incredible donations and support and loves and sharing and just to, like fucking tweet about it be uh, unbearably like kind to your friends about it and be like hey i was watching this really cool part, like actual thing the hump podcast the other day and like there was a thruple in a raccoon person called glass you should totally check it out um and you know and then and then bring some friends along watch watch with your granny and be and when they ask what's going on try your best and maybe they'll enjoy it and be like i have five pounds <laughs> to gift because i like the <laughs> raccoon <laughs> you know um but yeah we appreciate all of your support always and forever oh, oh. and be sure to check out all the old videos i know there's a lot and i know they're long um which is why eventually i will also try and keep up with the um with the story so far but if someone wants to do an abridged version let me fucking know i'm so down for that um derpy abridged version i mean jc's yours earlier was really good i have to say i, I was surprised <laughs> it was very good I think it, yeah, I think Where it was. Oh, Suffice. Yeah. yeah. Did you mention Umberlie? A little bit. I when mentioned it came to his Ke girlfriend. You, f you failed the Bechdel test because you mentioned Umberlie <gasps> when you were talking about Kentiganaster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even use her name. No, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> no. Where is Umberlie? What is happening with Umberlie? I don't know, bring her back. I didn't get rid of her. You just went to a different realm suddenly. We didn't she completely of your own volition. She's just off that somewhere. was crazy. Just sleeping with Kentiganaster over and over again. Oh my god. <laughs> she's she's off sleeping with gimmick. Oh. <laughs> She's she's off furiously calling the managers of everyone in and around Vinefell Creek, um, <laughs> looking looking for 
looking for the breakfast club and sighs every time she has to ask for the breakfast club. <laughs> it's like, who are you looking for? It's like, <gasps> the breakfast club. <laughs> but yeah. And yes, send us stuff, send us memes if you do drawings. We love to see them. It means the world. You guys mean the world. You're awesome. You're wonderful. You, you look like Glinda Evangelista. Um, you. <laughs> and uh, until next time, which should hopefully be next week. Roxbury, how'd you get in my apartment? The fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. No, that way. That's the door. Bye. Just make sure the cats don't get out. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, until <laughs> next time, please look after yourselves. Look after other people. Be kind. Um, be amazing. And, you know, if you do with Rebel, make sure you get some handstands in there. Until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Yeehaw! See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Take care now. Bye bye. I shall see you next week. You come back now. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Paul, Paul has to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I I need to I need to see how how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see the summoning of Paula. <laughs> yeah, I'm closing it. I'm closing it. I'm closing it. Bye. <laughs>